What was I saying? Yeah, uh, Yakuza, if you alt-tab out of this game, it apparently just stops working. Well, not like stops working. Basically what happens is Diado cuts off, the game is practically paused, etc., etc., and you can't have something pra is practically paused. And when I use OBS on it, I have to click on the game in order for you guys to actually see what's going on if I alt-tab out of something else. Behind the scenes, it's weird for the programming for Yakuza, which I... It's one of those, like, little negative points that is one of those negative technical points that doesn't really matter. I do enjoy the Yakuza games, and I am blathering. Um, but, uh, we're gonna just do Potion Craft. I know there was a winter event, like I said before, and I missed it, and I don't care. We're gonna just start a new game all over again because... reasons. Uh... We are a novice alchemist again. <sighs> we stole an abandoned house and now we're making it a shop. go making a first our first potion also remember you can grindy grindy this is a tutorial the beginning potion potion and then you eat the powder into the thing eat the powder into the Lacey to to explain to you this is how you do your shit You burnt your tongue, you basic bitch. Take. Crunch, 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 yank. Be careful, but you, you just make your game download. Uh, sorry, Mr. Readout. I was checking my Xbox, set it to download several games last night. What did you learn? Did you learn anything? Hope you learned something. I'm being snarky. This is what I do for a living. Ah, start my new day. Yay, new day. Now, am I going to break out the wiki and use it as a way to help me figure out how to make certain potions? Yes! Because I can't remember how to do them before? And look, the mushroom friends. I love how they do the mushrooms in this game. It's so cute. Okay. Okay. First victim. I think I learned to pay attention, I think. Well, at least you learned something. 
Uh, Alchemist, give me a healing potion. You got shot and you need a healing... Yes, cat, throw the mortar in when we just... <laughs> ah! Buckshot scared me. Fuck, we've talked about this. Don't do that. Ooh, ooh, can I? No. this potion, erase this potion. Potion of healing. We gotta make it look fancy. Fuck. I know that's you. Ooh, I forgot you could do a lot of shit with this. Look, there's a Hypnotoad reference right there. What is the 10k points? I forgot. Oh god. I can't remember. Wait, I don't have a special alert for 10k. You just get to hear me sound like a dead otter. Dying otter. Uh, trouble vision. Invasive beetles are taking up our wheat fields. They're eating our harvest. They're doing it fast. We need a poison. Okay, since they're beetles and it's po and it's death. Oh, 10k points. Yes. Oh, the hood. Boop. It's a weak poison. It's for beetles. No one cares. I just hurt myself. It's a weak poison, so you got to be weak. And since it's for your beetles, for your wheat fields, spray it on. Ah. Yeah, we know. The fetish material's coming back.
See, look how durable my baldles are. <gasps> Hello, madam. How are you? Selling anything besides herbs? Flowers, herbs, roots. Show me your goods. That sounds sexual. Don't say that again, cat. Deserved. Any strong fact like conversion of Jesus said your questions, keep our little deal secret, your science will be You want me to provide you a poison to kill someone? I thought we agreed we were gonna go good reputation for this game, cat. You want me to make you a poison, no questions asked. See, whenever I get told that, I always get sus. Kat, didn't you tell yourself you were going to basically not work for the evil people again? Yes, Cusco. Cusco's poison. The poison for Cusco. Oh, right. Doing poisons make you ba have bad reputation, and I don't want that. Fire potion, right? Okay, so... Fire. Ah. I watched that last night, fun fact. potion of fire and we're gonna make it look like a fire Blah. This one's a fireman, but he's got into a habit of strolling through the wheat fields lately. Do you have anything to cool him down? Cool.
have no idea where I'm going. Winter blooms or water blooms? Water blooms. I wish there was garden managing in this. Make me pick. I, I personally would like the pepper steak, but that's just me. But I hate peppers. Ugh.
Yeah, because I'm not, you need a potion of light. Hey, look! Oh, wait, that's no, all right. I immediately got a bite, reeled in, got back off the hook, the fish had some teeth. Okay, you need a healing potion. So, oopa. Haggle. There we go. We are good people. Fuck. I hit that one person. I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass later on. Complete uh, chapter, reach to a chapter, visitors of other times, push these, da 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 okay. Please, mushroom man. Show me your mushrooms. One potion of light coming right up. Robbers from here wanted my money, but I couldn't find any, so I gave them good being said. I did have money on me, I just hid it in a safe place, so now I have to spend money on a healing potion. My whole body hurts. Gotcha! <clears throat> One healing potion. <clears throat> One poison, the poison, the poison for Cusco, Cusco's poison. attention to me. There we go. 
I'm starting to feel better for some reason. Stream, I feel better. I don't understand. Maybe it's because I'm actually out of bed. Dad! Dad! Human! Pay attention to me, human! Human! Alright. Hello! Enchanted paper. I do not have the funds for that. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. I need a liquid fire. You want liquid fire? Potion of burning your mouth. Gotcha. Oh, that crunch is satisfying. Potion of burning mushrooms. Hello. Here you go, sir. leg. How about, madam, you pay attention to your children? Ugh. Here. Potion of healing. Something higher grade. La madam, this is a level 2 potion. Healing 2. Give him a bottle of Tabasco. Not an option. And also Tabasco plus beer? Uh -huh. Everyone heats hot wings when they drink beer. that over. Merman, I've been asked to deal with the best. I need to force my sword with this. Thunder! Ah! Okay. Where is post where, where is Boom Boom? Up there? Maybe? Possibly? Thunder? Hold on. What do you need exactly? I heard Merman flee at the sound of a thunder.
Potion of Kaboom. Okay. Um. Oh, we're gonna make this bottle look cooler. Hello. One explosive. What do you mean? It's a thousand. It's kaboom. They flee at the sound of thunder. It's not what you want. Okay, fine. What do you want? The sound of thunder. Explosions. I would appreciate an explosion. Freaking boom. What bottle screams lightning in a bottle? Oh, you wanted a mm -hmm. spark juice. Uh, me? Uh, two D platform. Well, I was raised with Mario, so Super Mario World was my first game when I was three years old. <coughs> Feels ancient. <coughs> so I don't mind two D three D platformers. Uh, there was actually a while back I was playing a two uh, D platform Metrovania known as Gris, which I, by the way, can highly recommend. Ooh, the sex number. Noise. Ooh, yes. I would love some herbs from you, lovely lady, who I like. Um. Hmm. 
I do like the banana. Would you like this potion of explosions? No? Okay. Let alone my fire blooms. I heard the herbs, I'm fine. It's just the fire blooms, and I just want one banana. Uh, I have not played Hollow Knight. I follow many a streamers who do. Uh, there's a couple of streamers who I actually do uh, follow who play Hollow Knight, and they're really good at it. Um, there's one known as. Uh, Hold on, let's see if I can do the shout-out situation through, via my phone. Uh, shout-out. One second. Uh, that sounded horrible. Ah, there we go. Shout-out. Yes. Jackie. C-R? Not C4, C-R. Uh, this one. Uh, Miss Jackie, she plays a lot of Hollow Knight. Uh, she also has done, uh, and I like watching her Hollow Knight streams. She also did, um, she did, she was doing a Hollow Knight randomizer, which was insanity. And, uh, I, sorry if I, the, the brain not connecting to my bra brain, not working right now. And, um. Her stuff is really good. I highly recommend her if you want a Hollow Knight streamer. Although she hasn't done a lot of Hollow Knight lately. She did do so a lot, and she did, uh, again, the randomizer. Uh, another streamer that I know that has done Hollow Knight recently is... Johnny Jellyjaw? That's not how you shout out his name, Cat. Good job, Cat. No. No, no. That's, that's, that's not his name. That is not his name. That is not his name. Mm. That not his name. Mm. Good job, cat. I am smart. It's because I misspelled. And I forgot. Uh, shout out. Johnny. Jelly. Jelly. Jaw. I know he did Hollow Knight yesterday. Correction, he did Dark Souls 3 yesterday. Never give up. Never surrender. Thank you, Kings, Azur Kingsman. Um, I know he did Hollow Knight. I know uh, another streamer who's done it. There you go. Bugbear. Gotta just remember. These are people whom I frequent. <laughs> Barry right now is playing some freaking... Uh, Bury the bugbear. Can I cheer my own channel? How dare me. Um, Bury the bugbear has also done Hollow Knight. I don't know if he's, they're going to be doing any more recent, any more uh, late uh, this week or not. I know Barry won't be streaming for a, couple, a week or two because of personal life. And Barry, apparently right now, <laughs> is doing a private stream on his channel of, the, of him playing freaking, uh, what's that game? Uh, Inscription. Which, by the way, I do recommend the game Inscription if you're one of those card game players. It just keeps kicking my ass. That's why we haven't continued that series, if anyone has been freaking curious. Uh... He needs a potion of mana. A mana potion. Mana? That's lightning, that's explosions, that's... Mana, mana. Okay. Mana. Yes, I found my old notes and I'm using them. Uh, but as I was saying, yeah, I do like... 2D platformers, but, you know, again, situational. And then one more wind bloom. Meeny, 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 meeny. Meeny, meeny. Mana! 
yes. You and every person who I've mentioned currently street mentioned in pa saying I recommend their streams are all waiting for Elden Knight. Especially Jackie and Barry. Um, they love the dark. They love the Souls games, so it's like not a shocker there. <laughs> I have nothing against Souls games, but I'm more of those people who's like, I like the aesthetic and I like the lore. Don't make me play it, though. Because then it requires me to do reaction time and memory and... Uh... ADHD is a funny thing. Mana potion. Listen, you're lucky you get it at this level. I'll get better later. Massive ant hill appeared in my hand. <sighs> potion of explosion? I will not offer a potion of explosions as a way to get rid of ants. Let's stick to a basic bitch poison potion. Poison. Oh yes, poison. Cusco's poison. The poison for Cusco. Spinach puffs. And drop. And drop. Good job, cat. Sneeze so loudly you kill your, you kill myself. No, you kill your audio. Jesus. Ah, oh, yes, Cusco's poison. The poison for Cusco. No one will know how evil it is. Ah, Punk Boogle, you're so sweet. I am not the coolest cat on Twitch. That's Miss Jackie. We all know that. Sausages! I think I sold it for one less than I should have, but. You know, you got stabbed and you fell out and you're doing perfectly fine. I'm very impressed, by the way. Uh... E. That's what that potion's called. It's called E. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, you don't know. Yeah, I've been told that. I'm s again, I just go, I'm here for the aesthetic, watching my friends have fun, and also the art and the lore. That is it. I, that, I'm not gonna play a Dark Souls game. The, which is the messed up thing, because I think Bloodborne, which is a much nicer Souls, much more nicer of the Souls games, I've been told, fits my aesthetic? Because it's Victorian England and Eldritch Horror and Cosmic Horror. And I'm sitting here and it's just like, yay! But I just, meh. And the weapons look cool and the outfits look cool. And it's so not because I could just perfectly make Heisenberg in that game or anything. No, 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 no. Hello? Hello, Honeydew. Show me your goods, Mr. Honeydew. <sighs> Frost Sapphire. What do these sapphires do? I'm gonna just buy this one. And this one. And I will show you a potion of explosions. Explosions. You make Heisenberg in it. I always like. Yeah, everyone does their jokes. Like, either we. you. A lot of people are like, I'll make a. 
this guy in it. I go, mm hmm. Haggle. Sorry if I'm quiet during the haggling part. This needs concentration of the highest order. Girl, you do not have a po you don't you have a lighter or something? You lost it. Never mind. Uh, fire potion, fire potion, fire potion, fire potions over there. Okay. Slowly, gently, music shall caress you softly. Mm -hmm. Turn your face away from the garish light of. Don't judge me. Hello, madam. You wish for a potion of fire? It is a level two potion of flames. What is with people being like, I want high quality, I want a level three potion. So, your theory is it's if you drop a frost potion in your potion bottle, it will... Mm. Okay, I don't have a frost potion on tap. I can make one. There we go. Turn your face away from the garish light of day. In the darkness of the music of the night. Potion of healing for the asshole who got hit. Eat. Hello, mushroom guy. How are you? Mm. 
we go. <sighs> Vegetables on my guard. No! Because you're poisoning the veggies and you're hurting innocent animals. Just take a chili pepper and rub it over your perimeter. You'll be fine. Ugh. You want paint that glows in the dark. Lomas, bebe. Thank you. On the way home, in the tunnel. Now, a barrel of gunpowder would come in handy, but do you happen to have that? You mean this? Potion of a kaboom? The demo man potion, if you will? business. Hello, dude. Uh, I have to take a gift to him if he would actually like nothing. Sorry, dude. You want a beer that says cold now? Okay, cold beer coming up. At least he has finally some taste. Says the girl who doesn't drink beer. Anyway. Crush, 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 crush. Stab. And being threatening to stab people. You want to get this lazy asshole, that lazy guy to get back to work? I can help you with that. The E potion. guys right now. Oh, they make shit ton of money. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can always stream, like, indie games. Like, you know, teeny tiny baby games, like I do. Says the girl who Yakuza, plays Yakuza. I know, I know, I know, I know. See, we're trying to be a good person with our reputation and not be a poison seller. That's a different save. Ah, oh, ankle! It only comes out for fireflies. You want a potion that glows shit. Gotcha.
potions they appear on the side of the You want a potion of growth. Uh, 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 potion of growth. Potion of growth. Do I have anything in my notes about a potion of growth? I too wish to be taller. Ah, what? God, Survivor, you scared me. Right, I've been I've been trying to ping you uh, <laughs> for a bit. Oh, sorry. I guess I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy trying not to die. Uh, hi, Survivor audience. This is Survivor. Survivor audience, play nice. No eating each other. Wait. <laughs> what? My task will wave of the, of the helmet. Well, not of the helmet, I guess. You are of a helmet. You're wearing a helmet. Look, helmet. You are a haunted helmet. We've established this. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> so was we like, wait, there's lore? Yeah, there's lore. It's complicated. But anyway, where, where are we with the uh, potion grass? We are basically making a potion of water, of fast growth. I found my notes from the last time I played this game, so I'm kind of using those. <laughs> what? You don't. No, keep... I'm sorry. You're... I just, I like right now. I'm trying to mute the specific tab because apparently in Twitch, if you mute yourself on one stream, it counts as not viewing it. Oh yeah. Uh, right. Uh, what what uh browser do you use? Uh, for this for this one, um, most of my personal stuff I do Chrome. Okay, I was gonna say I know how to do it for Firefox, which involves right, which involves right-clicking and mute tab. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I got some reason sites. Hey, let's mute the entire site. I just want to do the tab. Let's mute the entire site. Oh, damn it, Chrome. <laughs> Why would you be like this? Firebell. Okay, we're gonna go that yeah. way. Yeah, just to know, I do have multiple browsers, so if I have to, I'll just switch over to a different one and do that. Hey. Uh, oh, by the way, I still have people split on that thing we talked about last night. I know. I, I was reading. I was reading the morning comments on it because <laughs> uh, I did not remember acid was a thing. Thing with uh, you know who. So I'm curious how that would affect the outcome. <laughs> um. Yeah. There you go. Uh, ah, my phone! I forgot to do the thing. Eh. Eh. Did you forget to mute the phone? No. I just forgot to move my notes. Anyway, so yeah, uh, so we have two votes for Tarask, two votes for, uh, two votes Tiamat. for Tiamat. <laughs> there happen to be any D&D nerds in my audience. We're arguing who could win, Tiamat or the Tarask. It's 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 coming to, it's, it feels like it's this King Ghidorah versus Godzilla fight. It is basically <laughs> one's a god and one destroys worlds, which is better, which is which is stronger. Well, one again, like I told you, the one uh, my DM currently was like, okay, if we go by flat stats and lore, the Tarask wins because apparently Tarask can eat gods. And last week time we checked, Tiamat's a god. I go, yes, yeah. but you're also pointing out that it's immune to these types of damages. But guess what? There's a couple of heads that don't do that damage. Ha! <laughs> <coughs> Mine's though. It's 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 like the uh, it's a nice fanta uh, fantastical fight to just ar to argue about. It's like, it's, a, it's a super fight. It's basically <laughs> like game. yeah, but unlike Batman versus uh, not Batman, a Superman versus Goku, which we will not touch. Nope. We do not touch. God, no. You need a potion that will not only make my po sword strike true, but also imbues it with magical power. Okay, so you just want me to give you a potion that causes some kind of magic. Also, hi. This is uh, the Azure Kingman. Okay, I'm just gonna be sure I read that right. That's the Azure Kingman. Yep. So, just, you want it to have some magical effect. What is a good magical effect for a sword? Don't say poison. Anyway. Oh, this isn't Hamlet. Also, I was gonna point out, um,. They're asking at first they want to strike true, so that's primary number one specific. Anything else is uh well you said you were vague on the last part. 
Let's see. Not that I'm currently on the wiki or anything, looking to see if anything happens. Question! How about explosions? No? No explosions? Mm, too much? No. A little too much. Range arrows? Yes, if, if you want your customer to come back, yes. <laughs> if, uh, for, if you want them to go away and be gone permanently. Uh, lightning. Lightning works. Lightning in a bottle, it is. Okay. How do you feel about lightning? Oh, he like! Now we haggle. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> the, uh, the, the sword of Thundershock. <laughs> it was suddenly, uh, reminds of brigands and bandits. <laughs> to go mess with somebody with more magic weapons or potions. <laughs> oh, it's speaking of explosions. Ah, speaking of explosions, where's my potion of demo man? <laughs> hey, this man's it's okay. So, question. Yes. Look at that man for one quick second. Yes. Does he seem like someone who would uh go and use this power for the good of people, and or rather for the uh responsibly. Listen, I've already been denying one guy who's an assassin. While it's great for my reputation, he keeps getting cranky. Because <laughs> it's like, I told myself, this is going to be a positive run. A run of positivity. I've already been like, yeah, you keep killing creatures. No. There's this one farmer who's like, these farm animals just keep eating my food. I want to put poison on my plants so the animals don't eat, learn a lesson. I go, okay, first off, you're killing another farmer's animals, which I'm already against. Second off, just put chili peppers everywhere. Mix the animal, you know. Go nowhere near things. Yeah, it's like, it's, you don't want to kill them, you just want to discourage them. Chili peppers are the- oh fuck, he's- he just fucked my reputation. Negative 30 reputation, thanks. Yeah, like, also he does kind of remind me of, <laughs> of Guts cosplayer. Well, at least you guys didn't say, he looks like a white demo man. I go, hmm. Or it was like, oh, it's blonde Majima. Please. No, those are too low. Those are low hanging fruit. I'm glad you didn't go for the low hanging fruit. Hello, sir. What do you wish to buy? Oh, you have goods. What usually do you sell? Uh, okay, you're just a general salesman. Oh, you a general salesman with a shit ton of shit that I want. No, I just found some things. Found this giant's toe with this uh. Learn rude. Apparently, it's supposed to be rare, but I keep finding them, and you know, just some uh. The weird thing is, am I the only one who thinks the Nern root sounds relaxing? Well, you know my answer on that. They're, they are very relaxing. They're like wind chimes. Yeah, but people were like, here's a mod to lower the sound of the Nern root. I'm sitting here going, why would you do that? I just sit here and relax, contemplate life. Um. I'm guessing not everybody likes wind chimes. Yeah, it's weird because I mentioned that and one person goes, you have audio processing issues, right? You know, because I get overwhelmed and I get, eh, that, you know. Yeah. The equivalent of really bad. Um, I go, yeah, and the Nern root doesn't activate that. Oddly enough, no. Because it might not be a, because it might not be because it's one specific noise. Yeah. As opposed to a gaggle of noises. It's, well, because there, I make a joke going, I can't listen to uh, certain subbed animes of certain types of characters because they will definitely hit the pitch of making me annoyed. For example, yeah. uh, if you've watched the dubbed version of Orin Host Club, Honey Senpai, that voice gets on my gets on my nor likes to peek and hit those bad points. I actually don't know that. that I, I've heard of it, but I've never watched <laughs> it. <laughs> but, um... Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Azure King. Sausages, women. Sausages, books, women, sausages, weather. Don't question. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. Um, so like Honey Senpai's character in English dub already hits those points where it's like that annoying child, wholesome, that annoying child thing. Eh. But I'm like, I sit here going, I know how they would dub this character, do this character in Japanese, and it would be a lot worse for me. So I'm never going to watch Orin Host Club, even if the quote-unquote Orin Host Club is quote-unquote more accurate. You know, because apparently the dub wasn't that accurate. 
Yeah, I can see where you're coming from with that. Cause um, if, if it's like the the high pitch uh, kid voice, I think I know what you're talking about. Ah! Oh my god, you're so fun to hang out with. Oh, my throat hurts doing it. Meanwhile, I'm over here like I will stand and Jim Hawking from Outlaw Star because he's a child genius, but he's also still a kid, and I think it hits the balance of that yeah, very he, well. Yeah, he's not doing the pretentious bullshit. Yeah. Uh, my father and I were heading to the market, but back on the way, we were almost there, but we couldn't get out of the cart. Do you have a healing ointment? You need a healing ointment. Hey, uh, Survivor, you ever play TF2? Go on. I have made a Team Fortress 2 reference for a potion. Yeah. Behold, the TF2 potion. <laughs> if you know, you know. E. I don't remember, I remember cause it, cause there was there was definitely a point I dropped off of like uh, the quote unquote story. I think that was right after uh, uh, Man yeah. vs. Machine. Yeah, okay, so uh, in Team Fortress 2, the, it's not even a reference to lore, it's a reference to fucking a game mechanic. So do you know how you, remember how you call the medic in TF2? Oh, okay, there it is. It's the, e, right, button. the e button. <laughs> medic! Oh, yeah. No, it's. It, it, and as a person who plays Medic because they hate themselves, <laughs> I main sniper as well. See how much I hate myself? <laughs> I mean, look, look, there's a reason why I'm my uh, TF2 account. There's a very important split. I spent the most amount of time on Pyro. The highest kills I have is engineer. I also it's was a, a I was also a pyro man. No, it's actually funny. Someone actually saw my hours for sniper. Like, why? I go well. Sometimes I get really annoyed the world, and I basically make myself a private server that you can only really get in via LAN. Right. I basically set up a bunch of bots. I make them stay put, and I just play sniper and just go headshotting. The mods just you don't want something challenging you just want to relax and just shoot things i just want to relax and play, pop heads that's why i play destiny 2 sometimes just i just want to have something i can just jump into go blast it go uh go pull up my pieces <laughs> and everything just go oh so anyway i started blasting and yeah. just keep doing that until i'm satisfied But yeah, the reason why I mentioned that is like, I have fun with Pyro. I love Pyro. Oh, well, Pyro's a fun class to play. If I feel like destroying yeah. the world, I, I have to play the Pyro. Yeah, that, that's why. I, but, I'm, but I'm also, on the other hand, is if I want to win, I'll go play Engineer. And the only reason why I have so many kills on that on that side is for the fact that I found a one sweet spot on one of the maps where oh. people just kept running into gunfire. <laughs> I just hunkered down there. Let's see a tiny. Okay, I don't know how to. I don't know how to feel about this. One, her food is getting eaten. The other hand, it could just. She said she just wants to kill an evil sprite. I'm like, you don't fuck with the Fae. Hmm. Yeah, spy's really good. I, I try spy. It's uh. It's a. It's it, definitely. It's a clever. It's a clever thing in itself. But if you're not good at it, you're not good at it. Oh yeah, it, it's, it's what. But it can be fun though. It's a learning curve, like. And it's like some people who go, the demo man sucks. I go, no, what you have, the demo man is what we call a learning curve. And the learning curve is very steep. And you're not, and basically what you're showing me is you're not willing to learn and, you know, yeah. you're not willing like to learn. It's like, the, like, it's like when people are like complaining about how Dark Souls is really hard. And, you know, I know I complain about Dark Souls being hard, but I legitimately know that my weaknesses is quick reaction time. And, you know, that shit. I, I know my weak points, yeah. right? So I know that. That souls like games might not be the best for me. But we're talking about the people who just basically suck and yeah. refuse to learn. And right? then blame the game. Yeah, blame the game for like, this game cheats. This is clearly why it's bad. Yes. Okay. You know the mindset I'm talking about. Good, yeah. good. And so I've. So I'm just like. And you can always tell which ones are the people who are basically like that because, you know. They refuse to improve. There's they prove to actually practice their demo man thing, and yeah. you know get good scrub. All I'm saying. Yeah. <gasps> I just made a level three poison. Oh what? boy. Oh hold on, we got it. We, we we have to make this look right. The poison for Cusco. Where's a llama? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the poison. The poison. Well, actually, yeah, that's more of a um, kind of one of those little tiny glass vials. The ones that uh. Yeah, but it. Well, if I can't. Because remember, because he has to confuse it. You have to confuse it with essence of lava. Good point. 
We don't I, have I, a I, llama on this. There is no llama. You, the best part about that movie, I've I've had arguments with my boss, with my uh, boss about that. That um, but basically operate under those same lines. It's like literally, it's like it it just basically comes down to this isn't the thing I want. This is something else entirely different. Well, in my in my look, in my defense, all these boxes look alike. Like all your labels for the boxes look alike. If you're going to, if you're, you might want to think about relabeling some of them before you just send me off to go get X. Hey, so some big X. Oh uh, yes, Cusco's Cusco's poison. The poison. Ah uh, yes. Cus yeah, do you want to do it or should I? Do it. Ah uh, yes, the poison for Cusco. The poison sp chosen specifically for Cusco. Cus the poison specifically chosen to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. That poison. Yep. <laughs> I have like that. I love uh, I love Croc. Someone actually made a full uh, resin version of that bottle. And it's like multiple videos. And some jerk off was like, why do you keep making multiple videos? Because it's a multiple process. Because if you've never done resin making, resin making is a bitch. It's also smelly. <laughs> it's a smelly. It's very dangerous. Remember to be in well ventilated, well padded areas. Padded? Yep. Padded. I, I actually I wanted to say I get a resin printer for reasons. Reasons yeah. that involve. Of, uh, flipping off the man and making my own expensive miniatures. <laughs> Mine is flipping off the man and making my own freaking dice because I'm like, I want this color combo. Why does no one do this? Oh, I, oh, oh my god, that just opened up a, a little hate, a little, a little, cave, a little uh, pantry in my mind. Like, yes, this is exactly the problem I'm having. I want oh, specific wait, wait, color combinations wait, wait. or something. Okay, I don't this... want to pay for metal dice. I'm... It's, even though some look really good. Oh god, I know so many tables that refuse to allow you to have metal dice on there unless you have a dice tray. Yeah. For you know a, obvious again. reasons. Yeah. No. Uh, um. That reminds me. Uh, speaking of obvious reasons, the uh, three five group I'm with. They mm -hmm. um, when they moved, they actually we had been talking about like getting a hold of um of a table mm -hmm. where it actually has a screen in it, so we can use like roll twenty and such and actually put the maps. on through the screen and just has a protective layer over it. Yes. We finally did it because we were at first saying uh, we could fair, just build it. <laughs> fair warning, those things could really fuck up your eyes. Yeah, well, like I said, we have the, uh, one, we have a film over it and two, so that way one, it protects it and two, it dulls the light. Two, uh, we also, um, dimmed the light a bit so that way it wouldn't be, like, glare looking, looking at the whiter parts of the sun <laughs> after a long while because screen strain is a thing. I would like to buy mushrooms from you, Mr. Mushroom Man. Look at yeah, no him. No problem. No problem. Azure Kingman, I, I have a beagle. He's uh, <sighs> he does somewhat the same thing, but with more barking. Go, go ahead. Go, uh, give your kitty attention. Attention, please. What do you mean I don't get to get the attention? Well, you know what that means. What? Wait for it. Aww. Another healing potion? Jesus Christ on a pogo stick, people! I can't believe I'm looking this up. Well, if it's, it's honestly health potions are the most, uh... Common thing! I know! Thing. I should be thinking that, like, how many times do we go health potion shopping in our D&D group? I sit here going, NONE! I, we found a bunch of them and I've been sitting on them like, like a dragon. Yeah. No, it was actually kind of hilarious because I was, uh, they're like, how many mushrooms do we currently have? Uh, not mushrooms, uh, what was it? Kits. Yeah, how many, uh, how many potions do we have? And everyone's like, I don't know, and I just go, 27. What? Well, you never know when the healer goes down. <laughs> Suddenly, because that's usually when people start panicking. <laughs> well, no, no, it wasn't, uh, yeah. it wasn't 27, it was like, currently it's 11 after a big battle. They're like, why do we have so many potions of healing? You know how I'm a rogue? Yeah. And you guys have been been making jokes about how I don't steal things? Yeah. Well, good news, I don't steal things unless the body's dead. I've been the only one checking for bodies. <laughs> oh, that's their loss. I go, I'm checking the bodies for shit. And I even mentioned that to the DM, I'm like, and the DM goes, okay. And it's basically, since the other players are doing other things, I'm just checking bodies. And I'm just like, I have all the bodies. Congratulations! You're now the not only the, the body, you're not only the looter. You're also uh, the healer, the healer, and also keeping track of um, 
I am the one who's keeping track of all the damn potions. Uh, all, 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 all the items, yes. You're your inventory matter. Congratulations, you're a corner master. I don't want to be a corner master. I'm a fucking rogue. Uh, water bloom. I mean, there is some overlap, especially when you have to reclaim reclaim items. Mm. <laughs> As, if no one else wants to do it, that's their loss. Well, it was like one time... So there's this funny little story where we found a... Uh, okay, it looks... It is a rock-looking object, a shiny rock... And it gives off a warm, radiating heat. My character is a Grimalkin, which is a small cat creature. It's been, quote-unquote, the sleep, the warming rock! <laughs> My character has been sleeping on it. <laughs> it's See, like, it's warm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just getting, I'm just getting flashbacks to, uh, what was her name? The, uh, the person who first discovered, uh, radioactive materials. Ah, uh, uh, Madam Curie. Yeah, thank you, Madam Curie. And that was a warm glowing rock. Uh, no, what I, it, I don't think your DM is cruel enough to introduce radioactive material. Uh, uh, no, what happened was, um, I'll be straight up honest with you, uh, my DM, basically we found a, um, oh, what is it, 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 it is a, uh, fuck, it's the scale of a dragon, right? Yeah. Scale of a, one of the dragons. Whichever dragon's the one that shoots fire, that's the metallic one. Oh, uh, gold dragon? Yup. <laughs> Ooh. And it sh has the ability to shoot firebolt out of it. Ooh. It has only so many charges, and you have to use your arcane abilities to basically make it go off. And they all go, wait, we've had that? <clears throat> and you've been just sleeping on it? It's warm. <laughs> so when you say you're, um... A rogue, are you an Archine trickster or just one of the other subsets that doesn't use magic? Uh, I am a psionic blade trick. I am a psionic blade, uh, soul oh, blade, yeah. soul knife. Soul knife, nice. Um, but yeah, I can kill that... you with think about while well, thinking about it. So I mean, you are the you are the uh, you are the absolute uh, embodiment of where is it? Where is that emote? Damn. <laughs> yes, basically that. <laughs> Kind of right. partially inspired by that. Yeah, that that's me. That's me. That's me. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, like when you when you uh, stare daggers at people, <laughs> you read it. <laughs> well, remember this is the character that's also nicknamed the ballista. Oh and, yeah, that's right. And then I I asked the DM out of curiosity, going, so you know my certain feats? I know it clearly states it's for like shooting, shooting with a cro in my case a hand crossbow and all that jazz. He goes, uh huh. And I go, and I go, well, you know how I have other ranged attack ability? Yes, it counts for your soul daggers. Thank you for answering that question. Which means they probably uh, had the question before or knew what was coming. Yeah. So, like, steady aim counts for my knives. Uh, sharp shooter technically can count for my knives if I call it, of course. Yeah. And all that jazz. And he's like, what are you planning? Nothing. What are you planning? Nothing. What are you? Nothing. But nothing. <laughs> because when I got crossbow expert, I discovered that technically I can just attack with my bonus action using my knife. And I go, question, yes, yay. Sausages. Nice. I don't know why yes. I'm here. Oh, sorry. Uh, so it's like real fun to play D&D. Although, uh, one of, so, there was a weird, interesting TikTok I watched about how people were complaining about how feats are so rare and in between, especially when you're trying to build up your stats. And one person pointed out a thing that my DM also does. It's called, you learn a feat. Yeah. Basically, if you meet someone who happens to be, an, who has this feat ex and is an expert at the feat, and you basically go there to train and learn how to use this feat, you get the feat. That's how I got the ability alert. Because one of I the players in my party has the ability alert. And actually, the in character offered, "Hey, do you want to learn how to learn the thing I do?" Yes, please. Yeah, you want and, uh, not abusing, but uh, enjoying the boon system of. Okay, so you you give you don't you're not a warlock, but you do help a quote unquote patron with stuff, and they give you like they give you uh, rewards in terms in terms of, like items or feats or so on and so forth. Yes. That's why. I'm, I'm trying to work out, I'm working with my DM, okay, I did your demigod a favor, now give me, and because they're related to fire, and apparently tieflings are related to this, like, very roundabout method to, uh, 
to this demigod. I want him for a constitution. Why? For two reasons. Fireball. One, it's a, well, one, no, uh, well, fireball's not a, not a problem because tiefling. <laughs> Still got that good old fire resistance. But, um, Infernal Constitution that like, gives you plus one to con, it, but it makes you uh, no. Resistance. Don't say that recipe. Sorry, continue. Yeah, it gives you resistance to cold and the poison and advantage to poison, which apparently there's nothing against the poison for you, but still. So the way I'm looking at it is, for backstory reasons, it's very important because it fits the character. And B, it's just fun, <laughs> especially when uh, oh hey, you're trying to poison us, <laughs> and just just pull a uh, a Rasputin and say, eh, I'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, what was it? My very first D and D, my very first D and D campaign I was ever part of, uh, Tiefling Warlock. Um, my DM put in one for the one of the treasures we found a um, wand of shocking grasp. Now he even uh, the all the players were like they were like I go does anyone want this and they're all like no you can have it and I go are you sure they go you're a warlock and you have no close combat range. This and they basically we made a joke saying it was my taser. <laughs> So in case, you know, I need it. Um, and then one day, basically, uh, like this weird ma sleep spell or something like that um, happened to everyone, but I was the only one who didn't get hit by it. <laughs> go on. <laughs> go on. And they go, they go, okay, so you gotta have to try to wake up your party. I'm like, okay, warlock. No strength. <laughs> strength what? was my dump stat. <laughs> All right, still, you still did better than my uh, vampire character, Vampire Master Ray, when um, when our narcoleptic scourge decided that was a good time for a nap. <laughs> no, a, um, a giant beast here around the corner, and my brilliant idea was, I've got, I've got a iPod, I've got my iPod with me, yeah, and headphones, yeah. yeah. So I pop it in and back jack up the volume. Why would you do this? I don't know. So will it work? Maybe. <laughs> no. What happened was, um. Basically, I was like, I can't really shove these guys. I can't really do that. I go, I want to take my wand of shocking grasp. What? And I would like to non-lethally shock them. W what? <laughs> to wake them up. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, okay. And now that's when my t what was formerly the wand of shocking grasp, which turned into the taser, now turned into the Mr. Wakey Uppy Stick. There you go. <laughs> I mean, it, if it works, it works. Yeah, I even made it. Well, it's not to pleasant, but... <laughs> I made a joke going, do I need to use Mr. Wakey Yuppie Stick? No. Okay. God, well, I can't grow anything. Not saying all my animals died out by the end of winter. How is that fair? You must have some kind of fire potion, right? Excuse me? You want to commit arson just because a guy did better for you in the farming distance and you... No. Get out. Get out of my roster. Get out. Get out. Yeah, it's like, go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not helping you commit arson. This is the good girl run. I, uh, that's like, well, I'll give you one minus one star on Yelp. It's a magical Yelp. Well, good. Have fun with that. I was about to say, this is my popularity level. I just gotta get to a popularity of level four, and him just being minus one. I just need three more happies, and I'm good. Yeah. Uh, after her lights out, I'll start snoring like a herd of swines. I don't know how long I've been at. Is that... You want a sleeping potion? Okay, I gotta make a potion of what I fondly call NyQuil. Yeah. Well, yeah. But also, yes, it's a. Uh... If they're the snoring is what I think it is, you have an entire barracks full of uh, people chainsaws. With, you have an entire barracks full of people with sleep apnea. What's that like? Yeah. Awful. Uh, I uh, I, I've I've been with a couple of people who uh, have had sleep apnea. Uh, thank oh, God, I'm a heavy sleeper. Oh God, this one's gonna be hard because it's somewhere. Okay, I have a guide. It's somewhere out here, and I've never been out there. Somewhere out there. Still not helpful. Okay. Yeah. So. Apparently, I'm not going too far down. I'm supposed to go east of Frock. East, southeast. So it's southeast of the center. Yeah. No, no I get, I, I'm following. Okay, so yeah, good. Frost is there, so. You frost, then down, and then east. Yes. So we need. Uh, I'm running low on Terria. I should have bought more, but I was like, don't buy more. You'll be fine. I guess I'm assuming you can't just find more Terrier. 
Oh no, that's har it's harvesting. Ah. Hold on, I'm gonna do something really special for him. <laughs> I had a little healing in there for him. There you go. This like proper NyQuil. <laughs> exactly! If I had more pages to sh save, I would call this NyQuil. But I don't. <laughs> uh... But yes, uh... Think, by the way, as much as I go off of my, uh... Tiefling Elder tonight, I... It's... It's just a fun character to play because it's one of the ones I've played off and on. I've slowly refined their personality, but more importantly, I've never done Elder Knight. I've done similar things, but it's so a lot of things that I'm doing for this in 5e is relatively new. Uh, and I tend to do deep dives and try to discover, okay, what's a create, what's a fun thing to do, not what's meta and powerful, just what's fun. Yeah, like I have um, basically my. Uh... Hold on, I'm doing some very sneaky weaky math. There we go. Music shall caress you. There we go, it's a potion of healing and sleep. Night quill. What bottle looks like the night quilt? Close enough. What was I saying? I was saying something and then I completely forgot. Yeah, it's good. Uh, uh, we were talking. We hex blades. Talk hex blades. Yeah. Yes. I've never played a hex blade before. One character, I, I decided to play hex blade for once, and I'm like, there's some really fun shit with this. I go, can I my hex blade be a gun? It's like, yes. Shouldn't have said that. Yep. Yeah, hex blades can be very powerful. Oh, so, yeah. And in my opinion, they are front loaded. Uh, in Tasha's Cauldron of Anything, there's tattoo. There's special magic tattoos, right? Yep. And one of them is basically you can use a. Ta you, you, do you know the get over here move from Mortal Kombat? Yeah. I basically have that as a tattoo. Oh joy! And I've used <laughs> it multiple times to slam people into the ground. <laughs> and I go, so what does it look like? I go, have you ever watched Helsing? Abridged or unabridged, I don't care. Yeah. You know those creepy black and red tendril thingies he has? Oh! Yeah. Yeah. I basically based that character completely on, um, uh, Alucard. And, um, the DM finally figured that out after I started quoting it for a while. Quoting him for a while. It's like, you based this on Alucard, didn't you? Yeah? Why do you hurt me so? Easy. <laughs> but yeah, well, oddly enough, I have um, the other Elder Knight, well, Vegas, depending on which game system, yes. is my Dampier. And, like, where, where's my, my Tiefling is basically double down on fire. They're more general, with maybe some, some focus on using cold magic or necrotic mm -hmm. every now and then. Point is, though. When I was building them, I was very much influenced by two people. I was influenced by primarily the uh, Vampire Hunter D when I was built when I was getting his personality down, and then uh, Alucard from Castlevania. The way the way I typically play him nowadays is he's little he's the he's the uh, the grumpy character where everyone else is like, oh yeah, let's go do the thing, let's commit arson, let's let's go just. Bumble into, into the dungeon to kill the, the BBUG. And he's just saying like, "Oh my God, you're idiots!" <laughs> it's a little. It's if I had a montage of of uh, his reaction to things, it would just be mm, <laughs> just disgr disgruntled, <laughs> old grunt. Hello, sir. I see you need another healing potion. But yeah, uh, I play him because. Especially for my uh, best buddy's uh, DD campaign, I played him specifically, even though he's kind of out of his a little bit out of his element. For the simple thing, for the simple rate of he's quiet, he doesn't talk much, which means it's easier for him considering all the other people's shenanigans. Yes. I don't know. Uh, I think I've mentioned before. I've got at least one or two people who like to, one person here who like to create, crank the quote-unquote chaos engine.
So you want to set fire to a house that's haunted? No. But it will make people be able to sleep at night. No, that's arson. Is also, it it's go I mean, it's ghosts and that fire can spread. And ghosts don't aren't usually affected by fire. Can I point out how little money we have and we're desperate? Okay, how's our reputation? How's our reputation? How's uh, people like us? Plus seventy-five, and we're on the we're on chat. We're on uh, popularity level four. Okay, let's get let's give them the potion of fire and see how this burns in their face. <laughs> it's like, I just want, I, well, if I could, I just add warning variables like, please do not, <laughs> do not use this responsibly, and don't blame me. If things go wrong. Uh, Cat Lunisius Potion Shop is not responsible for any bullshit you go through. Or cause. <laughs> We cannot emphasize that last part <laughs> enough. Oh, what's it doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's been with the dragons. He here, you can have a teeny tiny bottle. Okay, what you do is you basically pull the cork off and yeet. Please. No, Make sure you yeah. yeet at the proper place. Women, sausages, beer, women, sausages, sunlight. Beer, women, sausages. I don't know. Hey, we got plus three reputation for doing that. So it was a good thing to commit arson in. Well, it got rid of the ghosts, apparently. Yay! <laughs> My neighbors and I listened to those sounds. We believe it's a monster trying to climb out of it, so I decided to throw a bomb in the well to kill the monster and to collapse the well in case there's more. So you want to make it a potion? You just want to make, to make for me to commit explosions. Okay. Well, at least we're not poisoning the water hole. Listen, we're just causing explosions. Yes, yes. Potion of explosion. And this is, one of these days I gotta play an al alchemist just so I can go that route. <laughs> like, it's like, I make bombs responsibly. How responsible is making bombs? Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Let's see. You have stuff I would like. I need more of these terrias. So can I have a couple of terriers, please? I'll have, have all terriers. your... I, I need all your terriers. And some of these fire bells, because I need some more fire bells. <clears throat> <coughs> I will sell you one thorn stick. Thank you, madam. Hey, look, it's the witcher! It. Toss a coin yeah. to your witcher. Preferably not very toxic. It is the witcher. What? <laughs> it is the witcher. It's like, hey, but the hunt turned out wild. I had to drink something. It's like, please give me a healing potion, a rejuvenation potion. And not very toxic, please. Ah, see? It is even confirmation. He is the He is the witcher. Yep. It's like, why do I do it? Ah, man, I need money. Listen, life, I, I, life, living's expensive. Why does my char Why does my Grimelkin character an assassin? Because they were trained from it since they were a child. It is the only skill they have, and we have to somehow support our children. My uh, mercenary is more like, look, it's I do what I love. I love I love uh fighting, fighting, attacking stuff. Also, I like be I like having money. It's like, why do you like having money? Uh, well. Depending on depending on where he comes from, either he is an errant noble who doesn't inherit much, so he's just kind of striking his own. But um, yeah, when you start working on your own and doing stuff on your own, did you know things are expensive? <laughs> so you needed a potion that exposes this man. I hope you're meaning trying to find him and not a different type of exposure. Why well, is invisibility? Hmm. So anti invisibility. Uh paint? There's a I don't know. there's a thing called magical vision. If it seems to invisibility, that should do it. <laughs> if it doesn't do it, I don't know what does. Yeah. Okay, so to make one of these, yes, I'm using a guide. Yeah, I hate I hate uh so, look, a lot of people use guides. We're, we're entertaining people. It's all right. Listen, I'm streaming and entertaining. I'm also, I've already played this before, and people have watched me try to struggle and learn, and I got stuck, so. Yeah. Uh, no, three water blooms fully, dis fully crushed. 
And sometimes I actually get it off for sheer dumb, dumb luck, and those are the fun ones. Two of these. Three of these. Then water bloom. Then wind bloom. And now we do the fun part. Play the stirring music. Oddly enough, it's also the same music when making sausages. Don't worry about it. Don't question it. No, my joke would have been, it's the same music you play if you actually... Spider-Man 2 fans will know this song. Ah, pizza time. Knew a guy who cosplayed as it, and he actually bought one of those freaking pizzas from the freaking brought a pizza and he's like if you get it right you eat the pizza and i go so how many people got it right he's like i'm out of pizza <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah i'm close up to new york i actually i've actually eaten at one of those pizzerias are they good they're pretty good yeah they're pretty they're good. not like the best but they are far but they are also but they are very good jaunty angle jaunty What? It's it's jaunty. Oh, now I'm just going back to Galvan. <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to watch that. It's I wish so that good. Netflix picked it up because the first two seasons are so good. Yeah. Because yeah, I, uh, thanks for Bardic Inspiration for getting me hooked on a show. I need to uh, acquire. Uh, Netflix has it. Uh, find a map. Astrid, yeah. I do pay for Netflix, so okay. Okay, see, I have saved you. I was gonna say I, that, or my, my or my uh, Discord can start doing a streaming night of Galavant. So what are we watching, Galavant? Why? Because. Also, I've sent an email out. Here's the choreography and the lyrics. I need you guys to practice it right before the episode starts. <laughs> I remember. Oh, yes. I remember being in a server and we were all watching Encanto, and I made a joke going, "Okay, everyone, did you receive your email? Because there will be dance numbers, and we will have to do them." And singing. Oh god, oh god, I can't dance. Why do you make me do this? <laughs> no, well, it was just as being a joke. And then Johnny Jellyjaw, who was hosting, was laughing. And then someone goes, were you a theater kid? I go, what gave that away? I think most streamers are former... Th most VTubers are former theater kids. Oh my god, I, I think I've already mentioned that. I I've had friends who are in the theater, and... My god, it's like, there's... It's like, when it comes to superstitious people, I always put in actors. Like, or anybody who's in the theater and anybody who's a, who's a sailor, I just assume they're going to be at the superstitious side. Oh, no, no, no. You want to know what's more... I always used to make the joke going, who's more superstitious, people who work in theater or people who work in sports? Because there is so many sports superstitions, it's not even funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I've, I'm counting those two there. It was wild. so cause like, oh, they, they lost. They didn't wear my favorite, my favorite jersey, or you know, I was, I was washing it. Therefore, that of course they're gonna lose, or and well, it gets crazier from there. Oh, what's my personal favorite one? I've heard stories of people at high schools, not co and colleges, basically like if the high school or the college had a seal painted on the uh, floor of the co of the school, and it was game day. If you stepped on it, that's the reason why you lost. I go, that sounds terrible. I, I remember, I'm like, that never happened at my school, though we didn't have ours painted on the floors. Ours was painted on a wall, and then go, wait, there's usually two football players guarding that thing. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, now you said, back in when I was in college, we didn't have a college football team. We <sighs> did, once upon a time. But you know how colleges are not allowed to, uh, well, not, not pitch, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not allowed to, uh, you know, snap up like early players with promises of like reward and stuff. It's um, there's a word I'm looking for. Bribe. Yeah, it's, it's essentially bribing. So, so something similar. Point is though, they're not allowed to do that. Well, law schools were doing it and we're doing it on the sly. And when the what whatever name name a freaking sports commission who's in char charge of maintaining uh, fairness, yes. Kurt Wind. They decide, oh, they're gonna make my college because it's smaller and they're and on the lower end lively, it's therefore much easier to piss off because no one's gonna care by uh, making an example out of them. Of course. They are forbidden from entering college sports or college football for the next hundred years. Only a hundred? Only a hundred. But the point is, though, it's technically longer because you can't, they have to dismantle the team. The field is, uh, for practicing, is overgrown with weeds and. 
You literally have to work it from scratch, and even after doing all that, you start at the very bottom tier and have to work your way up. By the way, it's extremely expensive. Yeah. By the way, this is Honeydew from Yogg's Cast. No, it's not, but that's what I named him. Yeah. He likes the diggy oh, diggy yeah. hole. I shit am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy diggy, diggy, diggy diggy hole. I can't afford any of this stuff, because right now I want to save up for the alchemist machine. Yeah. Hog hunt! Yeah! Let's go hog hunting! Uh, we saw one of the breakfast and went to roast the other one the other night in the forest. We need something to get the fire going. So y'all need a fire to cook the pig? Do you know how long it takes to cook wild hog? It's very gamey, so I'm assuming quite a while. Yeah. Also, uh, fun thing, because yeah, wild hogs are boars. Those are, uh, they're, one, they're dangerous. Two, they're invasive. They can't learn about pigs, but they are very, they are very quickly to go feral. And, uh, three, there's a reason why boar spears are a thing, because they'll just shove themselves through the, a normal spear and t in order to gore you. Why? They don't, they're pigs, they don't care. Well, oh. they, they do care, but they care more about killing you first. <laughs> oh, hog hunting is a fun little thing. So, see, here's a fun fact here about Inhila Florida. Since hogs are what you what are known by you fancy types as an invasive species, we don't have to go through the proper hunting court. We don't have to go through the proper things of getting, you know, the hunting yeah. license and all that jazz, because technically what we are doing is taking care, is basically doing environmental work. Yep. Just, just remember, boys and girls, and and everyone, everyone in between. Mm. If you ever complain, like, why there's so many wild boars and pigs roaming the countryside, blame the Spaniards, or the Portuguese, or any of the most, well, mostly the Spaniards, because the their Spaniards. whole thing was, <laughs> fly, they're like, oh, hey, that's an island. Man, we need to make a colony there. You know, but we don't have enough food sources on the, on the island. Well, just take these pigs, release them, come back a few of their generations, aka, like, like 10 years or so later. And boom, there's a whole growing invasive population to eat. I'm sorry, I saw, I, I'm reading fish that breathes fire. Fire breathing fish? Fire breathing, you want an ice potion to fight oh. the fire breathing fish? I have many questions, all of them in Portuguese. Oh no, I'm just reading mine of carp. Not magic carp from Pokemon. Carp carp. No, not carp carp. <laughs> the I don't... carp from uh, Dwarf Fortress were basically, hey! We, the dwarves, I need to go get water, but that's dangerous. How's that dangerous, Carp? What's so dangerous about... Well, they're tiny dragons. Wiver dragons. What? Yeah, and uh, they'll just grab you and pull you in the water and drown you like crocodiles. But, da but more dangerous and belligerent. Why? I hate Carp. I hate Carp. <laughs> and now you have to fight all the Carp. <laughs> oh, God. Well, now I just want to uh, make that a D&D &D campaign where it's like, you have to fight Carp. Oh, that's... <laughs> I was saying that would be fun and say like, okay, so we're gonna play a game based on Dwarf Fortress. Build, build your own fort. Part of that is foraging for resources. And what's that? Gotta go find carp. That's right. Go deal with that. Uh, be right back. I have to use the restroom. Survivor, entertain people about carp. Pull out the wiki. I was gonna say any type of carp. Talk about magic carp. Carp. Oh, more magic. Carp DM. Carp Carp K9. Seize the dog. Give him pets. Or magic carp, they're not even edible. How did these species live? How did they survive? God only knows. Just don't make them mad. They will, uh. Because then they'll evolve, and suddenly they're now not tiny little weaklings. They're now very pissed and very murderous. We want Dwarf Fortress. It is a medium sized fish found in lakes and streams. They are bond fears and tend to gather in groups. Carp are species of fish that found in tropical river, blah 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 blah. Let's see, they travel in groups of five to ten individuals. Yeah, if inference and pretty versions of aggression and disproportionately powerful bite attacks. Carp the curve Oh, apparently there are inconvenience in wars. Fantastic. They are nearly as heavy as dwarves, but barely entirely benign now. Aw. But again, no, they're still the undead garbage. Ugh. Ugh. Freaking carp. I hate them. You know, like the elephants, but also previous editions, they were just very long memories and very murderous. God, Dwarf Fortress is sick. What a wonderful Jay. So anyway, Chad, how y'all doing? Y'all doing alright? I hope you're doing alright. Do 
do. Let's see. Oh. Oh, uh, let me see. Where was that thing again? So I heard something very interesting about. I mean, again, going off the DVD. The newest book coming. I shall save that back to. When the cat gets back. Do do do. Do do do. Got another book to give. Not quite what's up, I'm gonna cry. I, I spent my entire fucking budget, and uh, I'm now. I'm not. I gotta look at that song again. I was waiting for you to come back because mm -hmm. I. Because, um. I heard something interesting about the new DD book, uh, Monsters of the Multiverse. Uh huh. They are making it so <coughs> Kangoo can speak normal common and not have to mimic everything to, uh. To yeah. speak properly. I am happy about that. I'm still waiting for penguin people! And I want tiny fluffy birds! I mean, well. I don't know if that's actually a creature or if that she just reflavor kangaroo. No, I wanna Well there's owl people now. Yeah. Owl folk. Owl folk. Man needs some freaking Okay, so this man. Oh that's cool. What? Changeling changeling can now be medium or small. They are fey instead of humanoid. They have performance has been added as an option, and shame changer. You can now change your size between medium and small when changing shape. Your clothing and equipment still do not change with you, though. Still, that's useful. You know what I could do with that? I don't know. Go on. I know, but it's like, it does make masquerading. It's like, oh, hey, this is the village of halflings. It'd be really important to blend in. Done. Uh, oh, and my favorite uh, thing is I've always wanted to play a, a changing that that just. I've always wanted to play with the idea, like, you know how chain with changelings, their shape-shifting is natural and in in instinctive? Yeah. What if they had, like, one of the changelings that characters that came out, what if they also had a problem doing certain, uh, certain races or certain, oh. or certain, uh, Darn it, I actually, I hit no on that lady. I should have helped her. She had cockroaches. Aw. Yeah, that one, you, they would eat, you would eat some color poison or deterrent. Excuse me, madam? Please read what the sentence is above for the audience, so I can just rub my eyebrows. Hi, I have a crush on a young man. He doesn't feel the same, and that drives me absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna need a potion that'll help me win his heart. Are you, are you saying love potion? Are you saying that, love potion? Because that is, sounds uh, like a love potion. That's this is not con that's not condoned. <laughs> I mean, it's a charm potion. Yeah, still not condoned because... It's frowned well, upon in many countries. For, and for good reason. I'm gonna just Here. give her a really weak version. <laughs> I mean, you could you could absolutely do that. This is like super hyper weak. What kind of potion is this? You get what you pay for. What did I well, pay for? They won't they won't look at you like the crazy lady you are. They'll instead think, eh, maybe they might not be all bad. Okay, so here's a fun fact. In order to get to the love potion, you have to go through explosions. That's oh my god, it's terrible. Or what a, terrible. Or hilarious. Yeah, depending on your point of view. What's your POV? Oh, now I'm just reminded of that comment that says, Oh, I made my first love potion! Oh, oh joy! Who, oh great! Who you could use it on? Myself! <laughs> and they just down potion. Did it work? <laughs> yes! Who knows? <laughs> I down love myself. It's like... That is understandable. Maybe she's just saying that so she doesn't get judged. Madam, we don't judge, but we will judge you for this if you are, just, you know. I, I, I don't know, I felt... I feel like, no, they honestly mean it. They're too happy about this. <laughs> be a lie. Also, like it, like, it works better for the joke. Yes. 
Adam, potions, this type of potion is very illegal. Even in Harry Potter, if you made a child via love, bur love potion, it doesn't make the child know the concept of love. That's how you get sociopaths. <laughs> That's how you get Lord Voldemort. You don't, no, one li no one likes Lord Voldemort. Okay, so I gotta go up and over to that one. Anywho, uh, so the reason I was going with that is because I would love to just have a change that just goes like, well, why did you turn into this or, that, or turn into this, this, this type of creature or something? Like, I just can't get the proportions right. <laughs> they start, they, they shape change and it's like it's a little no! off here and there. My potion yeah, it's, failed. It, it, oh, wait, the potion failed? Mm hmm. Oh. Oh well, no loss there. Nah, I gotta start all over again. Don't worry, That's I got true. a plan. But yeah, um, but you get what I'm saying? It's like give him, give him the, give him that problem. Like, okay, I'm saying this as a someone who's not good with proportion, just play into the whole. I'm an amateur artist, yeah. and uh, proportion can be hard until you get used to it. I'm a. What would that? What was? What if you do that for like in a for a racial feature? I'm sitting here going, you mean it's easy for me? I don't know how to tell you this. It's not easy for me either. I, I'm saying it gets better over time. I guess maybe, maybe not. It shows what I know. The point well, is though. Well, depends. What? Well, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, what if like, like, cause shape change, the shape shifting, like, they say it's easy. Like, if you have, again, if you have a reference or something to look at, but if you're trying to turn into a completely different person that doesn't exist, boy, how do you, how do you, how do you work out just how to do so? But yeah, anyway, I thought that was uh, that an interesting take. What's some that some people have argued about me about it, but uh, hmm. Hmm? no, sorry, I'm I'm listening and I'm also trying to figure out what this potion is over here that I found. Well, this isn't Skyrim, so you just can't taste it. <laughs> God, God, you know how fun it. You know how fun it was when you gather a crap ton of ingredients. You just ate one of everything except for certain ones because you need them for quests. Yeah. And then you just basically yeah. turn into a flower of explosions. Or, you know, just be blissed out of your mind. So what potion did she drink? All of them. Well, you know, I just found some, th just found some nightshade. I just wanted to know how, know how good it is. Hmm. This is a very good, this would make for a very good poison. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh. I, I found the bouncy poison. I, oh, I found the bounce potion. See, apparently it's supposed to be somewhere over here, uh, according to the guide. So we need to go up. And that way. Up and that way. Up and Adam, Adam and. I don't really have stuff that helps me go that way. Well, I got this. Hey, what else they got that's changing? Apparently, apparently fairy is not changing, it's staying as is. Oh, goody. I just want, I feel bad for everyone who's had that, who knows that person who says, Hey, you know what? I'll play Navi. No. It's like you stare at that man in his eyes and say, No. How dare you? Not in a thousand years. You know, you know, there's at least one. No, one person was like, "I'll play Tinkerbell." I'm like, "Please tell me you are you mean the book one and not the move the book one where it's just she's full of spite." Okay, now I just gotta go that away. Never read the book once. So now I need to do that. Because I, here's the fun thing about fairies: they can all they're so due to being so small, they can only feel one emotion at a time. Yeah, that's about right. Mm -hmm. Where am I going? Okay, I need to get that way. Do I have... Oh, that's, that's interesting. Apparently, Asimar are losing their sub-races, but they're getting something else to cover that. Asimar and what? You know, the, the half angel, the part angel people. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I have an Asimar character, Protector. Yeah, um, basically it's saying, let's say, their size can be medium or small, just healing hands, so the points regained from the trace when changed to a, a, 
can change from level to a number of D4 instead equal to your PB. And you have the semi new uh, Celestial Revelation. So you have a sub rate choice, if the different transformations have now been combined to a single trade. Now, when you reach their level, you can choose which transformation you will have. Transformations can be now entered as a bonus action. Necromatic Shroud no longer affects allies, and necromatic damage is now equal to your, to your PB, which I'm assuming is player base. I, I forget what PB means. I know what it means, I'm just forgetting. Okay, madam. Here. Oh, there we go. That's Ooh, yeah. you're gonna have a you're, you're gonna be charged a lot for this potion because I made a lot of stuff. I used a lot of ingredients for it. Damn it, I ch undercharged. And that was an evil action. Why did I say yes to that lady? Is that uh, the lady with the cockroaches? No, it was the lady with the fucking love potion. Ugh. Well, oh well, mistakes are made. Okay, so that thing's afraid of thunder. We just gotta go up and over. doesn't like thunder. Do you know what else is thunder? Lightning. Very, very yeah. frightening. Galileo. Galileo. Galileo Figaro. Admi magnifico. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. Yeah. So is everyone else. We're millennials. Let's see. Uh, for radiant consumption, both sources of radiant damage are now equal to your Proficiency bonus and the features no longer hurt yourself. That's good. I like, uh. What, what I like it? not uh, hurting myself. I like Protector Asmar, but I also like the, uh. The Scourge Asmar. Because I usually like to take it. Okay, I'm gonna make him this particular race, and then. Fl it's like, here's my race! I'm playing a Scourge Asmar. I need to punch the wicked. And you're playing Hello. a Paladin in the Peace. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Zephron. Uh. Okay, you need, to, need me to hi help you hide a mess. Okay. Here you go. Oh. She's a murderer! She's an assassin! Hmm. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Oh well. <laughs> look, look. Fish, fish swim, birds fly, and assassins need to, need to hurt people. They are. They take them. It's like they take commissions, to, but they take commissions to do so. They're not just. They're not a. What's the word? Evil. They're not crazed gun. They're not crazed, crazed gunmen. Those are. <laughs> it's like difference. But the, you know the difference being. Oh yeah. Or crazy Listen, possible. I'm an assassin, not a crazed gunman. Well, one's a job and one's a mental illness. Exactly. <laughs> I'll give you. A oh three. my god! I think my favorite part was someone's. Someone pointing out, man. But, you know what? The, the, it's like assassins and assa artists and assassin are very similar. Why? One does, they both do commissions and they both do not work for exposure. How dare you? Okay, you want a frost potion. Oh God, I love that one. So we need to make a frost potion. So boop and boop. Yes, we're making potions! What, what, we're not making drugs or anything. I mean, I'll, I'll... Granted, I put all pills and potions under the same idea, like, they're all caps. Of, var of various effects. They, they all, they're all enhancing properties or, uh, introducing new ones. It's, it's fine, because not all drugs are bad. Besides, these are natural. These are natural, organic. It's yeah. such shit. So like, I'll pay awesome. for more money if you make it a perfect frost potion. Yeah, bitch, you're lucky you get a frost potion, okay? Also, hello, Zephyr Art. Hello, uh, Punk Moogle. Where... And hello, Friendly Toast. Welcome to the stream. Okay, you basically want to make a flashbang potion. Gotcha. I love flashbang potions. Well, when I say flashbang, he just wants a basic light potion, because I am not... Although... No, cat. Stick to the plan. Hey, you can put lightning in a bottle. Can you put light in a bottle? <laughs> oh no, you, uh, there's light potions. But he was like, we also want to basically blind them and explode. And I'm sitting here going, hmm. Uh, I found a stray puppy. Oh, oh, you want to heal a pupper? Oh, we have to heal the pupper. We must heal the pupper. New quest. <laughs> I don't worry, I have the ultimate potion of healing. This is a perfect potion of healing. Hold on. Hello, 
the plant lady? Oh god, all your drugs are expensive. Anyway. Drugs are ingredients. Yes. Um, is there anything I can give you? No. Um. Uh, we need a healing potion. Ay vey. Everyone with their healing potions. It's like I live in a fantasy world where dra where there are dungeons and dragons or something. My beans have been revealed. Beans? Survivor, look. My beans have been revealed. Ah, uh, yes, the beans. The beans. The magic beans. <laughs> no, they're just, they're just jelly beans. Oh. I have, I have it's been so long since so I've had the uh, various flavor of jelly beans. Uh, the birdie I bots, mean, every flavor beans don't exist anymore for um, obvious reasons. Well, obvious reasons, yes, but I mean um, the other. So, no, there's generic uh, flavor beans that. Uh, there's. You're talking about uh, jelly bellies? Yes. Okay, sir, I don't know how to tell you this, but I don't have any acid. He wants acid? Yeah, he needs acid. Don't tell. But we're playing. But this guy's a bad guy, and we're doing what we call the good girl run. Shut up. Uh, I need your help. The local tavern keeper asked me to come to you with a special beer, especially for rowdy guests. They drink too much, and it costs their customers. The tavern keeper wants to be able to give them some kind of sedative. Maybe they shouldn't let drunks in the tavern. All I'm saying, but I am not one to judge. So you want a sleepy potion? Nyquil, it is. Where is the Nyquil? Uh my brain was flashing back to um, uh, Young Frankenstein. It was like, give give them a sedative. Sed sed give us sedative. 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 Beans are gone. Yeah. Boop. Fantasy Costco where all your dreams come true. Got a deal for you. There. Toss a coin to your witcher, ho oh, valley of plenty, ho oh, valley oh, of plenty, ho. Oh. Toss a coin to your witcher, a friend of humanity. <laughs> husband! I miss husband. I just uh, need to drop off. They got to the Minotaur section, and one of my DD bikes is playing a Minotaur 5e. Yes. So, uh, he's gonna be probably have to make adjustments to his counter probably at some point. Actually, no, I could go down a little on this one, can't I? Just a little, just a scunch. I guess they're, uh, they're redoing sub races for Shifter? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, excuse me while I have nightmares about having to redraw your shifter now. <laughs> By the way, I have nothing against your shifter. It's just Nordic detailing. When something's super detailed, I panic. Sorry, yeah, I know. I've been learning, like, to try and tone that down a bit if I can. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. No, it was funny when I was like, because when I was like, Mom goes, what's wrong? Because she heard me groan real loudly because I was trying to draw the Nordic detailing. And she goes, what's wrong? Nordic detailing. And then she oh, stops. Oh, yes, not work. What? Say, oh, yes, not work. The... Yeah. No, she sits there for a minute and goes, is it just as bad or worse than Celtic knots? Yes. <laughs> Go to Kuhn, a sister wife making potions. I love how people are making jokes now that we're married. I had a weird dream that I somehow was able to meet the voice actor for Majima. I don't know how I feel about what my brain was telling me last night. 
Oh, I gotta be right back. I'm ready to seize the bathroom, so I will be right back. It wasn't that spicy. It was just a meeting like at a convention. Nothing spicy about that, which says something about me. You want me to help you kill a man? No! I'm not murdering people. We are on the good child run. Okay, good run. The goody two shoes run. AKA the not Yakuza run. Where, you know, I do give a shit about my reputation. Although money's starting to get a little tight and I need money. Ugh. Guards! The good witch run, yeah. Hello, customer. Show me your goods. Fuck you. Po healing potion coming up. See, people wonder why I have a why I have a uh, level three healing potion readily available for anything. I'm just gonna make two of these. Yo. Drinker. Uh, hydrate time. He needs a potion that can turn water into ice. Okay. Ice potion it is, no problem. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. Woo, congrats, Saffron. Congrats on that, by the way. It's always great when you can get back to your art skills. Also, writing on the phone is a bitch sometimes, especially when you're writing fanfiction. The only reason why I'm using my phone for fanfic writing is because reasons. Anyway. Fast growth potion, give me one second. Here you go, madam. Weather, women, sausages. Hey, mushroom guy. Show me your goods. I do need more of these. Because these are very good mushrooms. Same with those. What the hell is this? I'm taking one. Give you a couple of these. And would you like a bouncy potion? No, I'm gonna actually save that because I might need it. What the hell is this? The good shit.
Thank you, Mr. Mushroom Man. <laughs> Damn expensive as fuck. Yeah, that's why I only bought one. This reason asked me for another woman. Eventually I found their love nest. I can't let them be happy with someone else. I want them to feel the fire of my jealousy. I want their home and feelings to go down in flames. Um, one hand, the man cheated on you. Other hand, arson. Man cheated on you, arson. Man cheated on you, arson. Uh, we're survivor, my moral compass. You rang? Oh, there you are, moral compass. Woman wants a potion that basically will set fire to her ex to her ex husband's home and new love home because he, his ex, her ex lover cheated on him. Okay, yeah, I, I understand the having the moral quandary. Arson, bit man cheated no, on her. Arson, no arson because the, the new love did nothing wrong. But he cheated on her, and she wants to burn the home. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. It's, it's still arson. You're still committing murder because he got jilted. No, they're just burning the house the, down. They're if, just burning well, the house down. They're not burning them with the people in there. Here's saying, how do you know? How do you know there's nobody else in there? It's, like I said, it's quesh, it's questionable at best. I would still point out, you're still basically destroying their home. I, I, I hear. I, I don't care. I don't care for the ex-husband. I don't. I hear. What I have. He, he, he get. He, he's earned what he. He, he reaps what he he sows. The new uh, wife, though, does she really deserve that? Like she, she has nearly no, st I, I, not so much no stake. She's done nothing I, personally. I, I, I understand that completely, and I respect your feelings and everything. But um, I respect I, those I'm, completely. I do. I respect your feelings completely in this department. I really do. I, I completely understand. You're brewing the potion, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to point out, you are doing. The, you, you remember, you're doing the good girl route. This is chaotic neutral at best. It's it's still on the deeper end of the alignment pool. I'm in the chaotic good in the sense of kind of. Shut up. You don't even. <laughs> Point is, so, yeah, you are being complicit to a crime. No, so, I'm not. Reputation. Uh, yeah. Not complicit. Um, you're, you're 80. You're not. You're not. You're the person who's selling the gun. I'm or in this case, selling selling the gas. <laughs> well, it's like you said, moral compass. I'm telling you, as the uh, as the morality, as the, as the as the wheel of morality turn turn turn. I played a ballot. I know how these things work. <laughs> I know you do, and I believe in you, and I believe your judgment, and I trust your abilities, and all that jazz, and I I believe in you, and all that jazz. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Um. Does that work for All you, right. madam? You're, you're, you're in the driver's seat. I'm just, as the co-pilot, warning you. <laughs> <laughs> what if the reason he broke through a foolish... Okay, Buck, I know what you're saying. I know. We could have an example of Crazy Psycho. This can be from... <laughs> no, we're not going there. Cause he, st he still cheated. If you, if you didn't, if there was a problem, you talk it out as adults and make a clean break. Not a cheat. And definitely do not cause arson. Remember, folks, Cat Lunacia Productions is not responsible for any arson. I <laughs> yeah, that was a bad idea. Okay, anyway, I need a potion that gives me strength and sends me to a battle frenzy. Yeah. You want a, the potion of berserk. Okay, see, I know how to do this very easily. What you do is you multi-class into berserk or get rage. <laughs> oh, oh, they got barbarian. Like seen battles. It's like... You basically multi-class into barbarian, my dude. Get rage. Give, give him the frenzy potion. Potion. Yeah, you don't listen to anyone. Not in that. I, no, 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 no. I don't. Well, no, I, don't. I know we can backfire horribly. However, I'm I'm arguing the fact that people need to be adults and not, you know, commit property damage or or, or Okay, wolves if the house is haunted. Wolves if the house is haunted. Because apparently it's doing good if we help burn the house down if the house is haunted. But they didn't say the house is haunted, therefore we have no reason to conclude the house is haunted. Well, it's going to be, it might be now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there is a potion of Berserker, by the way. Oh, it's West of Explosion. That's nice. I mean, Zephron, so you don't know if it's play haunted. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yes, I'm 
until proven otherwise, which it's very easy to prove. Dude, oh, this one needs a this, shit. It's just annoying to deal with. This just needs a shit ton. Oh, I regret using all those lava roots for the arson potion. What was that? Did I, did I hear actions to consequences? Ah, my Chat. favorite game. <laughs> Bite me. Anyway, so we need <laughs> to go that away. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an idea. So we have to go that away. We have to go up and wait. Hold on. Do we? Do we have to go? Okay. Uh. So yeah, the other time again, yeah. No more. Taped in. Bless you. Thank you. By nerf, I mean they no longer have poison poison immunity. They have poison resistance. Oh, that's boring. It's not terrible. Also, it means poisoner is now a lot more effective because they ignores poison resistance. Don't mind me. I'm just making a potion of berserker rage because that's perfectly morally fine. I mean. If he says he's going into combat, it's fine. Just don't be near him. <laughs> Ooh, I smell cinnamon. Thank you. I have cinnamon rolls. There's something said to me. Feel is at the right point. But hey, Buckshot. Hey, Zephron. Hi. Hey, Bungu. How y'all you doing today? Let's not talk about morality right now. <laughs> New subject. Let's see, what's a new subject? Na 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 So yeah, I just dropped that, uh, those leaks into my other D&D channel, just so, uh, because we do need to eventually when they have to talk about adjusting races, which is in our character races at some point. Oh, Yay. yeah. The fun stuff. Oh, I know how that feels. When, so when I played Psionic Blade, Psionic Blade was still in, uh, Unearth Arcana, right? So, I was still using on Earth Arcana stats until Tasha's hideous, Tasha's hideous laughter, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything came out, which means we had to redo everything for my character, and we all died inside doing it. Yeah, because uh, some of the Arcana is incredible, and some of them are not so much, but oh. and some of the change ups like. To like, okay, it's different. I don't know if it's better or worse. It's just weirder. Oh, mine was it was better. It was easy for me to understand. I actually had better uses for my side, my side ice. Although now that I, ever since that thing came up for my side ice, basically I played Universal Translator for the characters. Ah. It's like we can't understand them. Hey, Marshmallow, can you use your psionic abilities to? Potion of Berserker! I also know I have cinnamon, so... No one can talk to me, I have cinnamon. He loves cinnamon. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's a taste you can see. Let's see, so goblins are now fake creatures, interesting. What?! Goblins are fake creatures?! I'm sorry, does that mean bugbears are freaking fake creatures now? Yes. That makes no sense. Oh, they don't have more for training. Oh, and uh, they have fan accessory. <laughs> oh, we're making a cinnamon flavored berserk potion, by the way. This potion is cinnamon flavored. Oh yeah, so I, I see. So they're changing because based on the faithful UA and like how, I guess, interpretations of goblins. Sorry, <laughs> you don't want to get it. I got this for sixty nine gold. Nice. Nice. Ah, they're constantly having issues going to sleep. Okay, I got this. I got this. Nyquil. Nyquil. I don't have the ingredients for Nyquil. Fudge. Okay. Here we go. Can 
who no longer has limited speed. Yay! It can be small, medium or small. Yay. Uh, expert forgery, we're named to expert duplication. You now advantage remaining exact duplicate of a brain aircraft or made by yourself or someone else instead of just some, someone else. No longer says you can make forgeries, just exact duplicates. Still good for a artificer. Na 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 Good recall. You cannot gain these because of your toys. Additionally, give yourself advantage on a single check. You have personally and PB. Oh, personally bonus time for long rest. And number three has been adjusted. Oh my god, cool blow no longer has sunlight sensitivity, thank god. Yay, actually. Listen, I might not know much about them kobolds, but I do know how much of a pain in the ass it is when it deals with sunlight sensitivity. Yup. Also, my kobold, the kobold character you drew for me is still my favorite. The good old kobold. I, I gotta play him again in 5e. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Not fake. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Interesting fake. Do I know what I'm doing? No. no. I'm making a sleeping potion. That's all that matters. Yeah. We're gonna have a bunch of children go to sleep. Okay, kids, we're gonna go take some NyQuil now. Yes, turtles can be either medium or small. They also have a day of claws, and their survival instincts are placed in nature's intuition. Uh, um, yeah, actually, you know, I'm going to share with the Discord, since I don't think I can share links in chat. You cannot. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's probably better if I don't. I'm going to share that within the Discord. The, the Discord, way you uh, said it made out. it sound more like it's Jonestown flavor than sweet uh, dreams. You all can see what I'm reading. Y'all are... I, I, I shame you. What about the, about the nerd talk or about uh, Buckshot's the, comment? The sweet... The, no, they were like, you're making your potion sound like it's for Jonestown, not for sleep, not for nighty nights. No, no, it's legally distinct. <laughs> legally distinct, like, well, not, uh... <sighs> Because, yeah, um, I think the brand name is still a thing. It's yeah, still, it's still it's still thing. Okay, do not have a mana potion set up yet. That's a good question, Zephyr. I'm, I'm pretty sure there is a reason why they look like why Goblin is going back to the ancestry, and it's probably a lot of folklore, and there's probably a lot of different reasons. I just can't think of it. It's either folklore or someone bitching that is not quote unquote accurate to the blah 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 blah. blah. I get I get elves getting that because freaking elves. <laughs> Bloody elves. elves. There. Goddamn pointy eared bastards not giving me a cookie. Knife those knife ears, sons of guns. Don't don't look at the fact that some of my characters are a bunch of half elves, don't worry about it. Don't care, don't question how I have two characters that are both elves that are freaking Although my elves are both, someone pointed out going. I made a joke going. I don't play elves, and then my DM goes, um, "Your Alucard base one, who is uh, name is uh, uh, Drago Simonescu. Yes, I went full Romanian with him. <laughs> he goes, uh, "Dragos is an elf. Shard Kai. I go, "Yeah, true. Zenera is an elf. Half elf, half Shard Kai, and half Drow. And we just say Shard Kai. We just use Shard Kai rules because we made the joke going Shard Kai. Like it's like Pokemon rules. Whatever the mother is, it's basically that." Yeah, I was also going to point out, it's like, you, then you have the same thing, the same argument for half orcs and a lot of uh, mixed race species, so, you know. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, well, like, well, we were making a joke saying, okay, so my character, uh, so Zenera, Child of the Raven Queen, blah, 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 anyone who knows the story knows the story. But, um, it was just like, I don't want to have to do special stats for your character. I go, you could just use Shard Kai, we can just stick with that. Okay. 
The DM's like, thank you. Oh no, Zeph Zephron, we're not making fun of you. Jeez, why does everyone think I'm making fun of them with my accent? Fire bells, fire da 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 da. I need some fancier shit. I want more mushrooms. I want to decide what yeah, to put in my plant. Yeah, I'm um, sorry though. We're, yeah, we're not specifically talking about you or your comment. We're just, it's just, it's just a thing I've heard a few times, and I just want to talk about the conversation in general. Hey, look, it's a dwarf. Yeah. Can we rub his belly? He said no. Yeah. Oh. Damn, you're oh, such. It's probably better. <laughs> Remember, don't piss anything off. That's in uh perfect uh Jante punching distance <laughs> and range. Okay, you don't want that. What do you want? You want it's gonna hurt, it can tear the rod out of your hands or pull a fisherman right to the water. You want what do you want? You don't want healing. Don't you think shot, you're absolutely right. Also I think Cobalt is goblin in German. It's weird how the two separated. What does he want? Does he want slow skin? St stone skin? Does he want stone skin? Is that what he wants? Go back to what they're asking again? Let me take a look. Let's see what that sounds like to me. The uninitiated in this game. Let's see, hello, I came for help. Oh, I made a bad guy so that I can catch one fish. I would do it, but it's going to hurt. You can tear the rod your hands or pull a fish right tomorrow. I won't manage. You want me your potion? Ah, uh, stone skin sounds what, about right. What potion do you need exactly? Makes you stronger. Yeah, stronger or at least too dull. Or some kind of sephoric bait. That'll do. <laughs> let's just do the po That'll let's do, do the store the, 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 this one. Yeah. Okay, thorn sticks, sixty percent. Oh wait, is something gone? I thought the actual word was a uh, translation from. Okay, maybe I may have got some misinformation. Ah, there it is, yeah. Compared with the gnomes. Yeah, it sounds about right. Do I know where I'm going? No. Nope. Do I care? Also no. Hello. Are you the potion I doth look it for? Get in there. Potion of stone skin. Man's gonna be rock. You want to finish that statement? No. 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 Uh, phrasing. Man's gonna have abs like slabs. Boom. There, there you go. You, go. Oh, God. you don't want a potion of so of of stone skin either. Big, big customer. Does he want a berserker? Sephoric bake. I I'm gonna just make him a basic ass bitch fire potion. See if that works. Give us that. Well, look up that word. And do drowsiness of sleep. We can do sleep potions. It says sephoric. What's sephoric mean? Sephoric means to make drowsy or to make sleepy. I just looked it up. Well, now to you induce, tell me. To induce drowsiness of sleep. There we go. Okay, so. Right, we're gonna put a slight. We're gonna make a little bit of bait covered in chloroform. It'll really be fine. I don't think that's legal. It, it probably isn't. This is very, very, very illegal. Hello. Welcome back, Google. Thank you for looking up the word Sephoric. Thank you, uh, assistant potion maker. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, don't exactly buckshot. Don't buff kobolds. Why? You know, they're uh, like they're in, in any sense. I've always seen like yeah, they're one or two are not so bad, but usually they come in groups and they are very industrious groups. 
You have been blessed by the spoon. 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 Oh, it's a from one of the one of the D and D podcasts I listen to. It's a group of kobolds. They worship what they think is a uh, golden dragon egg. It's a rock. Um, but one guy, what basically one of the players was talking to one the uh, head priest kobold, if you will, and he's. He has a little spoon for his staff and everything, and he just takes this spo- this giant this wooden spoon, puts it in the guy's mouth, going, "You have been blessed by the spoon." <laughs> and do you know how hard it is for me not to make a kobold character just to do that ex- do that joke? Hey, hold on, have you ever played We Be Goblins and Kobolds Eat My Baby? No, I'm curious about it. Is this what you want? Is this what you want? That's not what you want. Oh, it is what you want. Fuck you. <coughs> yeah, you just get him out of here. But I don't need a sword. I'll dip an arrow in poison and shoot him right through his visor. Oh! So who wants to play point out the problems with this sentence? The slow and painful part, shoot, well, shooting some visor, very, very difficult, you better be an expert shot. But, uh, the poison part, dude's vengeful. <laughs> it's considered a, good, a a neutral deed. I was about to say something about nine times the wall, but no, that's not a thing. I actually, I know that's not a thing. Wait, possession is not nine tenths of the law? Apparently not. You want a potion that produces a better apple harvest? How does that not help you, madam? It's potion growth. Very picky on my potions. I want a potion that makes my butt bigger. Yes, the butt. Yes. Uh, oh, you want the rich harvest potion. Pardon me, madam! My puppy, my boy, it's too early. You keep no. asking me when it's early. My, my dog's asking me for food. Sir, it is too early. It's two hours too early. Madam, it is too early. I don't have... Oh. Okay. Then... Six of these, so one, two, three, four. Five, six, There. Just from the deep lore on us. What? Yes. What happened? He's talking about King Goldemar the Kobold. A overall, a it could be nice, but overall mischievous and brutal Kobold. Nice. Well, not nice, but um, interesting, fascinating. There we go. Okay, madam, is this the potion you want? Thank you. Right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna let my dog out. I wish for walkies and poops. It's too cool. Usually gets a walk at night because he doesn't like to walk very far. But oh, give me a minute. How many wind blooms do I have? Oh, I got plenty of wind blooms. I don't need wind blooms. Do need these blooms though. And a lot of days.
customer is always right at what is pissing me off. Uh, apparently they've been in, they've been somewhere just right. I need a bomb. You want a bomb? You want kaboom? My dude, my friend, my fellow. I have a kaboom for you. This is the potion of the demo man. It's a great potion. Haggle, shall we? Thank you. You want another another kaboom potion for the audience, for the people. Okay, kaboom. Da, 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 da. Thank you. He needs to sleep deep tonight. I don't want him to catch my luck. compass right now what are you doing she wants me to make a sleep potion so she can sh so she can run away from her ex her husband I mean it's just a sleep potion I look if you're that's not as bad oh it's not oh. as bad as arson yeah Can you sing with all the voices of the mountain? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? You can own the earth and still all you own is... Why am I singing Disney music? Also, why am I not singing from the one of the best Disney movies ever? Encanto. Seven foot frame, the rats along his back when he calls your... Am I spoiling Encanto for you, by the way? I don't remember mean, if you've seen Encanto or not. You mean, well, for, for me or chat, I've seen it like two or three times right now, so I it's, okay. can't spoil it for me. Good, so you know how sad it gets, and then you all cry. Mm. Hello, would you like a sleeping potion? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to work in, uh... It's like, how, what, is it, what was the joke? Would you like to build a math lab? Would you like to do some cook? Try, try to work that into that parody into a uh, potion, potion setting. Joke. Would you yeah. like to kill the Batman? <laughs> you want to see through invisibility? God dang these stupid invisibility seeing potions! All these ner all these kids. Why don't you learn how to do invisibility and then cast it on yourself and then have an invisible fight? Which are always badass. Oh. Yeah. They also confuse the crap out of people. Also, uh, Punk Moogle and Buckshire say they have not seen Kanto, so we will not spoil it for them. Mm, can we at least sing the music? Seven foot frame rat. No, no, we don't, we don't talk about Bruno. No. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. It was our wedding day. <laughs> can you tell I like that song? Yeah, it's a good song. It's, it's a, a very good song. I want this as a stage production. God dang it, Disney, do it. You made Frozen a stupid stage production. This one deserves it more. Yeah. Did you know that We Don't Talk About Bruno has outsold freaking Frozen now? Uh, yes. I love it. Yes. And some people are like, oh, don't ruin fun for people. I go, no, 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 no. There's a fine line between fun and basically annoying the living tar out of me. It was our wedding day. Yes, everyone watching Kanto, it will make you cry. I won't go any further. <laughs> the crowd. Bruno walks in with a mischievous grin. Thunder, are you done the story or am I done? 
Bruno says it looks like rain. <laughs> it's a good song. Help. Survivor, help me. Stop me from singing it. No. No, I will not. They put the whole, yeah, they put the whole song <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3 up. Reason number 47 why I'm not looking forward to playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's other reasons. Oh, there's many. One of them involves my husband, though. <laughs> yes, I have a husband in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Does this shock you? No. Show it end. No. Show me your goods, my dude. Cause I wear the name. Wasn't a cloud in the sky, no. Bruno walks in with a mischievous grin. Thunder, are you telling a story or a mind? Bruno says it looks like rain. Your butt is really tiny. <laughs> I love everyone's like, I'm not surprised. Hello, the cow in the village is sick. Our neighbor already lost a goat and, our, and another lost sheep. My cow's well. Oh, guys, that my beloved boy. I feel bad. I feel bad. And the farm needs to be like, oh, yes. Healing the potion. Health potion. Yeah, don't, don't think about how the health potion basically can help not only humans, but animals. Don't think about it. Okay. It's, it's magic. Don't worry about it. Also, one of the things I always want to work in is like more creative uses of health potions other than just imbibing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's like, man, this health potion like helps me regrow runes and stuff, but it'd be really nice if the to combine it with like healing kits and uh, like bandages. Oh, you're not doing my joke, which is this is a very high advanced healing potion. Cool. Why is it so cheap? It's a suppository. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, no, I. I I've, I've heard things like that before. It's. It's as equally as funny. No, it's just like it you, so, all you have now. to all you have to do is heal, to heal is eat, swallow this giant pill is to take this giant pill. Oh, do I ever get a glass of water? Oh, you don't need a glass of water. It's a suppository. Ah uh, yes, Pun it. the best way to punish people <laughs> or to uh, make them think a little bit more. Suppositories, yeah. bitches. Uh, should I do poison? It's gonna poison a bunch of foxes. No. But it's it's gonna poison no. the foxes. But we have no, to help no. the animal. Oh, don't help no. them. Don't no. help them. No. Okay, don't, don't help them. them. Don't we'll take take the head. Oh, that make, yes. negative. Oh, that's negative two on our reputation. Greetings, Madam Twerks. Madam Twerks. I hope she owns yeah, a brothel. She owns a brothel. Okay. Yeah, that's a little. That's a little too on the nose. It has to be a brothel or some sort of establishment. Yeah, some form of a uh, want to awaken their inner beast. So you, you want a potion that helps. Does the city has a brothel? And it isn't bad. The girls are gorgeous. Also, I, I, I forgot what else my friends told me about it. I sit here going, are the girls being treated well? Are the girls being treated well? That's all I care about. I uh, guess it comes down to <coughs> who's running it. Madam Twerks? She does great. I know exactly the potion they need, because there's a potion of levito in here. Do I have enough firebells for this? I do. Oh, there's an easier one. Thank you. Which involves thorn sticks and uh, red mushrooms. So let's see. Red mushroom. Firebell, three quarters of the way smashed. I don't know what that means. Then two full. I guess as good as mine. And now two fully smashed firebells. Wait, what? Uh, that's bad. That equals death. So we're gonna just uh, do a. Raising. You know, uh, we're gonna just add this red mushroom right here. No one will know. Yeah, the phrasing was to the smash the firebells, but what? 
Everyone loves using that sound alert. The alert. So another fire bell. Then some terrarias. Good. Good. I always heard that uh, Terraria is a good indie game. <laughs> oh, Terraria is a great indie game as long as you have the freaking mind. As long as you have the, if you either you a know what you're doing or b have the wiki out. Yeah. Sa yeah. Same with Minecraft. No way. Yeah. Also, that one's more combat focused, unlike Minecraft, which is more creative focused, which is more more my bread and deal. Yeah. Now we're gonna just. Got it. He, 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 he. Behold the potion of Lumbido. Or as I shall fondly call it, love potion number nine. If you get that reference, I am very proud of my audience. I got the reference. Thank you. You your mother your grand your mother and grandmother also had whole control of the ox, huh? <sighs> I will not comment. <laughs> you will not comment how your parents had control of the radio station, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Well, granted, I mean. There, we'll do a post. It, it was on. It was on the list of things, but um. Th th does that love work for six? Number... Sorry. Hold on. Um, Zephyr was asking. I didn't hear the reference. It's love potion number nine. This is a libido potion. Bom, bom. Let's see. See, look, look. The bottle looks like a woman. Definitely has to be imbibed, not uh, sprayed, right? Yes. Okay. Because it's to help to release their inner beast. Ooh, that sells for a lot of gold. Haggle time! I love haggling. Yeah, you love it. Oh, Thank granted, you. And apparently helping I, the brothel is a good deed. Yeah, well, I was going to say, granted, I uh, have a love-hate relationship with, with uh, persuasion checks, but for some reason, haggling and gambling are fun in a fantasy setting. But not in real life, because if you fucking mm. try to haggle with me, I swear to god, I will hurt you. Well, like I said, haggling's more of a cultural thing, in my opinion. If, there, if, the, culture, if the shopping culture says you, you must haggle for respect as well as for a proper price, congratulations, you're probably in the middle, you're probably in certain parts of the world that's, that's, that's encouraged. However, if you're not in that part of the world, do not do it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, sometimes people, like, want to haggle me on price when it comes to artwork, and I go, okay, is this because of a pricing thing? Or, like, you know, if this is me being like, do you just want something cheaper? I can provide this option for a much, I can provide you this option for a much cheaper price. And then they're like, no, I want you to do this thing for this price. I'm like, okay, can't remember. These are humans. You can't murder them. Me. Over the internet. Me. Although, trust me, we want to. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I told, I've, I've told you, the, I've regaled you of the uh, times I wish to strangle people over the phone. It's always over the phone. It's always force choking over the phone. Why? Because some people really, really bring out that dark side edge. Oh, when I used to work the farmer's market, which, by the way, I'm an artist. I used to sell my art at the farmer's market before the COVID happened. Hey. Because I did, before I did farmer's markets, I sold at this outdoor geek, uh, nerd festival. Which I need to sell, you know, my back stuff because no one was on my Etsy. Yeah. So, farmer's market selling. Oh, so many Karens. Yeah. <sighs> Including yeah. one woman who goes, so what's your artist, what's your art style? And I mentioned anime, and when I say crap, I mean stuff. That's my speech. Yeah. You know, it's, it's very easy. It's, it's, it's safe here in the East Coast, so up, up north, so yeah. Apparently, I get a lot of the weird mannerisms from the northeast coast anyway I, i'm down here though uh and i say crap and the woman basically thinks you know i really think anime is crap i'm like did i just trigger something <laughs> and then and then complained about modern anime and how modern cartoons and how they look then complained about anime and went oh we should go back to the more realistic art style that was back during the days of early walt disney and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's a uh... That's a conversation we're not going to have. 
I sit here go I sit here going, okay, she just said Walt Disney back in the early days was realistic. It's not. Yeah, it's stylized. That, it's stylized, or well, here's saying what early days are you talking about? Are you talking about rubber hose animation because that was also early to see. Snow White, mm. Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, those ones. The, the, so probably the ones she grew up with. Most likely, yes. Yeah, because like, cause it's it's like I feel like I have a certain bias for certain '80s anime, not because they're more realistic, because just the, the design is very much in of itself like you know like old classic akira classic uh bubblegum crisis stuff like that it's really good but it's also really expensive because animation's expensive akira not akira akira yeah akira i'm sorry akira. um i'm gonna i'm gonna butcher that pro probably constantly points to him he does not speak the japanese listen mm -hmm. makes you feel better every time people are like oh because you remember the character date in uh yakuza kuwami right everyone kept calling him yeah. date i'm like no it's date that, that, that one's a little easier because yeah, cause there's, there's a different there's inflect. That's there's, a little easier for me because there's, there's inflection probably somewhere that needs to be denoted. Yeah. But yeah. Well, but, yeah. yeah. But it's also because I watch because uh, so Chaga Conroy when he does video games and they're set in Japan, like in Amatara, Amatarasu, he basically did a shit ton of research, talked to native Japanese speakers, to be like, I need to make sure I'm pronouncing this shit right. <laughs> and it's good. That day. Yeah. yeah. But it looks like date. I'm like, no, it's that day. Yeah, it's, it's like how, it's like how uh, in New York they're gyros, in Greece they're heroes. I pronounce them hero. I've always yeah, because uh, but yeah, it's uh, depending on who you talk, it's either like a who cares or b more importantly, I don't care. But uh, the way I, the way I I've, I've always rationalized it, if you're in New York and need to find a thing, just call it gyros and just move yeah. on. If you're in Greece or a proper Greek community, call them heroes. <laughs> Which is what I deal with. Mm-hmm. It's like, you be relevant to the culture. You... Yeah, like I said, it's confusing because it's... Because Occam's Razor and people just looking at the word once translated and just say, eh, fuck it. Yeah, let's see. This guy wants a potion. It, it happens a lot. This both constantly a... and also. Oh, hey, Strider. Strider. Strider Warlord. Please, can you we're, stop we're, exploding we're... out of my floorboards? I just got those replaced. At least it's not from a random goblin. Hmm. <sighs> Our village is preparing for a local holiday. There will be dancing, reveling, and mountains of food. I'm already intrigued. We also want lanterns all over town to burn for several days. Gotcha, you want a light potion. Or as I fondly call it, Lumos. Yeah. Because I'm not enough of Harry Potter. Listen, Harry Potter is part of my culture and everything, and I love it to death. But fuck J.K. Rowling. Harry Potter was written by Hatsumi Miku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. I can't believe we're already back, we're already back to the whole problem with... Uh... What's his name? What? You know how people... It's like, okay. Okay, so Cthulhu Missiles. Wonderful to talk about. Wonderful to be, to uh, dig into. The man who made it is awful. Wait, there's an echo? Nani? 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 Hold on, let me check something. I'm not getting one on my end, but anyway, I'm not really listening to... Uh... Yeah, I, I thought I might have accidentally activated my voice thingy my boat My thingy my bob or it. Everything's fine in that department. Uh... Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Uh, I'm an adventurer and I recently came across an ancient catacomb. Okay, Laura Croft. I think the depths may contain grace treasure. How do I know? Because I'm an, because an iron golem is blocking the way. Uh-huh. No fire, poison, or frost will take it down. I need something else. Okay, so fire doesn't work, poison doesn't work, frost doesn't. What do you want me to do? Explosions? Explosions are like I don't even know electricity will work either. Well, if all it's fail, you could. How about here? Have this charm potion. Charm the, <laughs> charm the golem. Oh, good old golems. Uh, brew this and brew this. One of these should work, right? Not, um, not you. I'm, I'm, shooing, I'm shushing my dog. Okay. Acid? Acid. Acid. We're going to do explosions. Because explosions are fun. Who doesn't love explosions? I mean, it should work. <laughs> it's a go home. They don't like explosions. I was about to say, it's like fireball. 
I need my hands on the chest, but it has a very intricate lock that can't be opened, and the chest itself is so strong, Sledge won't smash it. Can you help me open it? You want an acid potion. I do not have acid unlocked. Uh, can we unlock it, or yes, still can. too far off? We, we can unlock it, I think, if we're hopeful. Cat, we're opening- that person could be a rogue and could have stolen it. Don't care. That one needs two red mushrooms. I have no fire bells. Uh oh. According to the guides, you need fire bells for this potion, and I don't have fire bell. Um, madam, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Well, apparently, that was a good thing to do. Sorry. So I'm out of fire bells, you know, the base ass ingredient. Well, that sounds like we need more fire bells. That's how safes are opened, with more explosives. Who, but you can't ex. What if you destroy the content with inside the safe? Problem. Okay, who? Potion stores open. I have potions. Show me. Void salt? Comes in handy when brewing potions, but you need the alchemy machine. I don't have the alchemy machine because you're charging so much for it. Wait. Hold on. I might be able to get it. I'm about to do what is known as a Hail Mary. Uh, our pro game move? Mm-hmm. Okay. I got it. Huzzah. I have the alchemy machine. Now what the fuck do I use this thing for? That's a good question. I think for I think for brewing posts is easier, possibly? I I don't know. I don't know. I've never gotten this far. Ooh, there's you can get add-ons apparently. Okay, I have to create different potions. Okay, so I. Uh, well, I, I hear transmutation. Uh, okay. Not flow, not transmutation, just traditional transmutation. Okay, excuse me. I'm going to need your arm for this. Okay. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to put your soul in the armor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, you're Alphonse Elric. I'll be Edward. Well, no, personally, I, I'd like I can to, see that. I, I, personally, I'd like to be the girl who gets to hang out with, uh, w w you know, the Armstrong family. These titties have been around in the Armstrong gener family for generations. Oh, what, the uh, the older sister? Yeah. I love him. She got introduced. Oh, she's pretty. Also, I was talking about the brother, but yes. Oh, the, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, as that's right, regents uh, to the Louis alchemy machine. Louis, uh, Louis Armstrong. Louis, why am I saying... That's, I know why. Not that Armstrong. Jean-Louis Armstrong. Jean, yeah, there Jean Louis Armstrong. I had to ex pronounce it to, and like, my ex was like, Jean Louis. I go, no, Jean Louis. What? I, it's pronounced in French, my dude. <laughs> then, once again, he makes fun of the French. I'm, granted, it's easy to make fun of French, but still, it's like, they're not all that bad. Okay, so she wants well, most of our make, Most of us make fun of the French come from two sources the British and World War II. Mostly World War Two. Okay, yeah. let's see. So you need a. You oh, want yeah, a. Napoleon was still a thing. Sorry, I'm. Sorry. Sorry, I'm on top of you. Sorry. It's okay. No, this guy just needed a mat. A plant. Uh, he needed fertilizer. Hey. We also spent a majority of our money, so we need to recap that. That means we might have to become friendly with you know people who want to do evil deeds. Or uh, you know less. <laughs> Less charitable deeds. How did you get by without potions? Well, you ha we used to have a healer, but then he disappeared. No one has seen him since. We killed the healer. I don't know. I'm just making. I'm being dramatic. They're being either they're being intentionally vague, or they just don't want to talk about it. Listen. What you don't want a healing potion? What, what, hold on. What do you want? I have a tough job in the oh, residence. Do you have a potion oh, to make you? Oh, you want sc oh, stone skin? Stone skin. Okay, so I misread. Pardon the me. Well, Zephyr Art has discovered a body. 
Zephron, what did we tell you about discovering bodies? Now we have to do the class trial. Do you really want to do a class trial right now? I have to put on my Monokuma cosplay for that. I haven't finished drawing it yet. There may or may not be a Monokuma cosplay. I mean, look at my character. How could I not do Monokuma? I want attention, human. He wants attention, but not for the thing. Not, not just attention. I want I attention. I love my beagle. My beagle, however, is obsessed with food. Therefore, he's my perfect. He's the perfect dog for me. You're not obsessed with food. I mean, I, I've been called a hobbit by uh, multiple people. I'm called a hobbit because I don't like leaving the house, and I like food. I'm... Okay, now I see why they call me a hobbit. Well. Then you can be an adventure. Well, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I see what the other part of the connotation's coming. Mm. Well, yeah, even most... even before plague happened, I didn't like leaving the house, and that was one of the reasons why I stuck with the toxic D and D group for a while because they were my one way of getting out of the house because I was starting to go stir crazy. But then my brain's like, your mental health is getting worse now. Yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. I'm sure Bugshot will probably chime in at some point, but um. Assuming they're still here, but um, yeah, it's. I think a lot of our like. Our, a lot of the jokes from the British also come from the. So a lot of jokes from the French come from the British because, original British colonies, yada yada yada. Points though, the British and French have been kind of like two angry disgruntled disgruntled lovers, <laughs> the jilted lovers. They keep they like to fight each other, and it's everybody else's problem to deal with. Oops. Ignore that. Deal? Nothing. Ignore that. Nothing happened? Nothing happened. Okay. I can work with this. I can work with this. Ah, capitalism. <laughs> then Terraria 1. I know what I'm doing. It's not a problem if nobody knows it's a problem. Exactly. There's no problem here. There is no war in Boston. Say everything is fine. Ah, oh, fuck. Do they not like it? No, the problem is I was trying to do acid and I was about to go into the bone depth. So I'm going to have to get creative. Watch Cat get creative with her potion making. This yeah. week at 11. So now I'm... I mean, it's, it's creative for the fact that you don't have to deal with the consequences somebody else does. Yes, consequences! Consequences, consequences, who cares? I care. Now we use some bloodthorn because who doesn't like a good bloodthorn? There we go. Okay. Mm, nice. uh, sorry, I'm just, I have to check over a DM skill to see what's new things people are making, and they're. Getting more and more people making supplemental material for Strixhaven. Yay! What is this? I got a bug, uh, a friend of mine that's to try and start, once they, that thing's settled, to start uh, getting their adventure school. Well, uh, campaign start up again. I miss playing uh, my character there. It's it's just me playing one of my palins again. It's just. But just more on very early on. But God, she was doing such a good job, and I, 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 I do miss seeing her. Aww. I was gonna say Zephron got a crash, but that's not it. Zephron just wants to play D and D. Uh, down. Down. Set. Hike. We're doing leak gamer moves right now. Woo! Leak gamer move. Did y'all yep. see that leakness? Yeah, you did. Yep. Oh, Zephron's thinking about trying uh potion grab. Like, yeah, it is. It is a very, it's a very chill system. It's a very chill game. I'd like to point out everyone that this game is still in beta. 
And so it's, you know, still being, you know, bug tested, fixed, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But it's still a good game. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Acid. We finally unlocked Acid. Yeah. But yeah, it's everyone. It's, uh, hands down, I think one of my, my favorite. I, I, how was I going to just phrase this? Um, one of my favorite armors in Warhammer are Bretonians, which is basically a British, British, uh, King Arthurian lore combined with, uh, largely being of, of, of uh, French culture, and I honestly love that armor to death. I got to play knights and stuff. I miss it so badly. So we asked her, why is her bag full of so many herbs? She goes, it's bigger on the inside. I'm just sitting here going, aww, that was a good reference. You did good. You did good, kid. Oh, yeah. yeah I love that good old bag of, that bag of, um... Holding. Holding. I, I was gonna try, I was trying to make a TARDIS reference in there, too. Just so I would place out one of the words for bag. Yeah. Oh, I've already made a joke. My DM's like, I said I'm gonna buy a bag of holding. And no, his universe bag of holdings can be anything as long as it makes sense. And I go, can my bag of holding look like a, look, can be a certain shade of blue? He goes, is this because you want to be thematic with your character or because you want to make a Doctor Who joke? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they, they work. How <laughs> hell, it's, uh... Havertz handy haversack is the reason why I got my artificer acting like Soundwave with all his uh, homunculi. Listen, listen, I have the spice bag of fun. Ooh, Zephron, you want to try D&D? &D? Mm. Ooh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. No, don't say that out loud. The D&D &D nerds will activate. They've already activated. I'm right here. <laughs> Fuck, we activated. Um, okay, you want a potion of levitation. I'm in a few campaigns, so uh, there's one way particularly do them. I, I'll, if you're in the even this way we can I can talk and see uh we can talk and see if they know we're kind of quasi looking for a fifth person we just don't know who's that's gonna be a few people have offered so I mean and I would like to get a fifth person what the fu I don't have a witch mushroom do I no I do not okay so I can't do that version, but that's the only version you can do. Okay, it's north of lightning. There's lightning. Hello, lightning. There's, yeah. It... Okay. Actually, that might be a fun conversation later. What? For you, for you, B-Cat. What? Possibly doing a one-shot for, for people in the Discord. Oh, <laughs> For, for for my in my Discord, oh oh oh, darling, please no. <laughs> well, not, I wasn't saying I was gonna make you DM. I'm just saying that maybe I, cause I need to cut my teeth on DMing for a bit. So yeah, like I said, uh, I made a few games. It wouldn't be like, hey, let's let's uh do an ongoing campaign every single week. I'm doing that with three different things at the moment. <laughs> yes, I'm insane. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Lots of things. Lots of things, yes. But yeah, Zephyr, I'll, we'll chat on Discord about it, so... But yes, uh, and Kat, again, you're also, uh... Invited. You're also invited. Thank you. I mean, it's your Discord, but, uh, but yes. I've been wanting to do a funny little disc, uh, one-shot for, uh, Twitch, which is basically Battle of the Bards. Oh my god, yes, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard a few ideas like that, I haven't, I've always... <laughs> and I wanted... I've mentioned I'll... the people that I would love to do a battle, I'll do a whole bar full bards party just well, for a uh, well no it's basically skills. congratulations you have all been invited to the battle of the bands and you know each person is representing a group and basically you're, that's your band and doing yeah. it that way and i'm like i'm do, trying to figure out ways to basically if you use you know fighty magic as a way to entertain like pyrotechnics and stuff like you want you, you want you want to use witch bolt you've got to make sure you don't hit anyone you yeah. will lose points and i'm trying to work out the point system and everything and I mentioned it to Barry the bugbear, and I made a joke going, yeah, I, I considered having a hard rock, I, I made it, I was doing, you know, I was thinking of having a death metal bard barbarian as, like, the la last year's champion, and I might make him a bugbear, and he goes, if you're planning to do this, I am, I would like to be invited and be a part of this. I go, now I have to work on the game system more. If you, if you want to, I can, I can possibly help, help, help that out. Uh, help, help out, out with that. that, yeah. Help flesh it out, like, because, yeah, that's one of the things we do in um, one of my games, right? We have the DM, and then we have what's called an assistant DM. 
They help field questions, they help deal with the rules lawyers. You know, help deals a lot of the nitty gritty so that way people can and bounce ideas off of. So so it's a more of a, a creative brainstorm. But it helps dealing with uh, if, there's, if you have bigger parties or, you know, a lot oh, of things yeah. fly out left and right. Actually, yeah, there's my 3-5 group. Um, that's my old college buddies. We do have a lot of, we do have a few house rules that just keep things flowing faster. Oh, yeah. Now, I will let you know some and see if maybe we can compare notes. <laughs> yes, we will compare notes to our personal homebrew rules. Like my personal homebrew rule, which I rule that I love to death and I told uh, Survivor about it and he thought it was hilarious. Um, where if a magic user uses a spell and gets a nat 1, you know that the table of wild magic punishment happens. Yay! And, uh, because, yeah, because I've had a similar idea with doing it, but, you know, with spell plague. <laughs> it's basically what happens if you go to a place where magic just naturally is just running wild because people have have done the fucky wucky way too many times. Oh, yeah, uh, there's a place in the campaign that I'm currently playing in, um, Okay, so one of the players, the guy who retired his character and wanted to play something new, um, his first character is known as Colonel Sanders. Yes, it's based off that. Um, yes, no it's based off Colonel Sander. He's a, a gourmand artificer. It was great. He he casts grease a lot. We may that was one of the things he did often was like I cast grease and take a shot, everyone. Grease is very useful. Well, it's a great spell, oh, but he constantly yeah. used it to a point where we could predict when he would go to use it. Yeah. I guess. It's not that we're complaining about him using it. It's a good method. It's like, but it's just like. It's just. It's, it's a tr that sometimes the joke runs a little thin, I guess. Yeah. It's constant. Well, no, it was useful. He cast grease in yeah. useful situations, but it's just like, it's always with the grease. He's like, yeah, it's a good spell. I'm not saying it's not a good spell, but you want. I would like to also point out you're the Kentucky Colonel. Oh, I have, I, when I used to DM, I had a co-DM. Their basic purpose was to check rules for me, as well as, what is my phone doing? Um, was to check rules for me that I was confused about. Um, and you know, all that jazz. You have very nice bosoms. Thank you. Uh, all the guys in my unit have enchanted swords, and I've always envied them for it. I was hoping to enchant my sword somehow, too, with fire, perhaps, or lightning, or I could rub poison on it. But what if I cut myself? <sighs> yeah, uh, let's give him fire light. No poison for you, buddy. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you, this man doesn't sound like he knows how to handle poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, you know, uh, you know, light, something useful. We're just going to give you lightning in a bottle, okay? All you'll get is a small static shock. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I know my, uh, I hope my, um... The DM likes him, my best buddy. He's doing his, his first campaign. He's telling him, he like, we'll, we'll talk and shoot, shoot stories. He won't, like, we'll brainstorm ideas. But uh, since I'm a player, I'm only party to know so much. Touch about the nitty gritty if he does. Just more like general ideas. And, and sometimes um, he gives me a little foreshadowing about things that are coming ahead. I've done a very good job by not spoiling it for anybody else. Assuming I remember. But, um. <laughs> Yeah. Ah! Bless you. Bless you. Ah! Bless you. Ah! Uh, he's. We've, uh. What uh, was it? No, Zeph. I, I've, I've... Thank you. <laughs> Proceed your thought that I'll do mine. Uh, so is a co DM a rule prosecutor or lawyer? Not quite so much that. They're, um. The, well, to borrow. To borrow, um, Vampire the Masquerade terminology, you have storytellers, which are like your DMs, they are, or GMs, they are there to help, um, be the overall final decision and determine how the game flows and where it's going. Then you have your narrators, who are job is to handle, sm like, smaller scenes and such. That should basically help take some of the pressure off of the DM. So, yeah, if the DM is like the judge, it's like judge and, uh, prosecutor, the... The co DM is literally the is is literally the assist is can act as the um, assistant prosecutor. They don't have a right to necessarily override the judge, but their job is to help us. It's basically help assist the judge in handling things that otherwise would just drag on for for hours on end. Like shopping. Yeah. Which is why yeah. when I did when I did shopping, I was like, okay, I need all of you to just write down what the hell you need. 
Yeah, because it's delegation. You're basically delegating roles, so it helps immensely. Yes. Although one person was like, why are you making us write down what we need to go shopping for? Because I do not want to have to deal with everyone in the shopping and just, just give me the list, tell me how much... I'll tell you your prices and then we can go from there. Okay? Make my life easier. Oh, yeah. But that ruins the experience. No, not for me. It doesn't. Yeah, I... Yeah, because it can be a very tedious aspect, if, especially for the person having to deal with all the people who want to haggle or steal. Yeah, or my personal favorite. Um, there we go. I made a weird-ass potion. Yeah, give me a second. I gotta turn the light on. It's getting darker. Huh? <laughs> it's only 4 of 410. It shouldn't be getting dark. He remembers winter is a thing. No, I woke up semi-late-ish, and my mom's like, Did you get any sleep last night? What's sleep? It's very cloudy today. I'm one of the, Yeah, what Zephron said. Shopping's yeah. exciting. Well, there's potential for haggling and interaction and roleplay and all that jazz, but, like... Mm -hmm. You can use it basically as part of a, as part of downtime. So it's between combat, between like more intense situations, just to kind of process. And fun, like fun shopping, indeed, it varies from person to person. It depends on the people. There are some people who just don't know exactly what they want. Oh. Or you know, you could literally have the the salesman who sells the monkey ball scenario. Some that occasionally pop up. Now I'm going now break now prepare yourself, cat. I don't really have a second person to deal with this part, but uh, there I was once introduced by my f in my first campaign to the Grand Emporium, the Grand Emporium, the Grand Emporium, mm -hmm. where you can find anything and anything, everything and anything, anything and everything. What would you like to buy? Magical ma fantasy Costco, where all your dreams come true. Got idea for you. I love the Grand Emporium, but I also hate the Grand Emporium. It happens only once per character, and, all, and it's a big sink of money for things you don't. That you get enchanted to buy. Yep. If you try to resist, and yeah, it's a sink of, it's a sinkhole for money, and you don't get what you want. Oh but yeah, it that's only once. That's what happened with my, uh, with in the game I'm in. There's a special interdimensional hopping superstore. Don't think about it. And basically, yeah. the DM noticed we had a shit ton of money, and the DM's like, "Okay, I understand why she has a crap ton of money on her right now. Family haven't sent it out yet." Because I said I'm not going to send it out until I go into a bigger city that I know have, like, armored protection for, you know. It's paranoia. Yeah. Madam, here's your health potion. And by health, yeah. I mean, it helps you restore your mana and your pizza and your bagel. You're very lovely. Goodbye. Yeah, because um, money is a mechanic within D&D and other games just to, like, to limit your power. Yeah. <laughs> or give you... Like, buying power is very much a thing, so it makes a difference between buying, buying simple supplies to a plus one sword or something enchanted that can really possibly break the game. Oh, you, or break it's balance. Okay. It's okay, Zephron, you're doing well. Don't, 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 don't be sad about not staying long, trust me. Don't worry, Zephron, you have a good night, okay? Thank you for joining us. You want a sleeping potion? That slows down fish. There we go. I had the sleeping potion. Why did I have the sleeping potion? I don't remember. It's called Go the Fuck to Sleep. Hello, Mushroom Man. We love you. We stand the Mushroom Man. Anyone who is rude to the Mushroom Man will get shot. Like the, mu like the Muffin Man. No, we don't like the Muffin Man. He kills people. Wait, he does? Mm hmm? Oh, no. Did you not notice that? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. I know the song. Oh, God. Well, he, she's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! So she's married to the Muffin Man. Thank you for doing the Shrek reference. Makes me feel a little less old. I love Shrek. I just, I have not seen the last couple movies, but uh, I do I think the last Pretty Shrek much. movie I saw was Shrek the Third, and I'm like, yeah, I can't go beyond this. Yeah. But anyway, um, what I was saying was, um, back when before Tangent, um, yeah, he's, t he's finally going to use one of my ideas for when, uh, our poor, poor, our rebel base gets 
blown up because escalation's a thing. Wow. We went to went to go investigate the airport, the military airport. We stole an airship. This was not in, this was not what was supposed to happen. Good news, buddy. I have Cusco's poison. The poison for Cusco. Hey, the poison. The poison specifically meant to kill Cusco. Mm hmm. Ooh, Cus Cusco's poison. Poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. Ah. Uh, but yes. Um. So the grand idea I had told him long ago is I gave him a portrait of what I really refer to uh, as I refer to as will be will probably be assailed by Captain Charles Adrian Rothschild Winston Crunch the Third. You make Captain Crunch. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and when everybody's when uh, people ask me what the fuck why, why who why would you make this it's like no 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 don't look at me if you want to know the grand architect of this particular portion. Turn to the player on the far left. I'm just gonna be sitting there with the happiest little smile. <laughs> Why do you hurt us? Reasons. Hey, look, we, we do all crazy things. This is, this is my crazy thing. It's beat the DM ideas to hurt us? Maybe. Maybe. More fun ideas. It's you're saying I, it's fun. It's a challenge. I like challenge. It's fun. The problem is, uh, in our, my D&D server, it was just like, we were, t I was, uh, I mentioned the stupid idea I came up with, and the DM just writes down as a response, furiously taking down notes. Which makes us all perk up going, oh no, we inspired the DM again. To be fair, it's like, I would rather have an inspired DM that's not, that's not malicious, but just wants to do crazy creative things, than, uh, I'll take that over someone being purely malicious. That that's that's a problem. Yeah. The other one is, it's. I always I always have the caveat. Hey, it affects me too. So I'm not. It's not like I'm being. I'm not targeting anybody. I'm just. That making bad. things interesting. Three, two wind blooms. Okay, two wind blooms. I also have to remind. I also have to remind people. Hey, at least I I was the one who uh, who stole the paladin's mount from a cart, a cart and all. And uh, killed the paladin, but somehow kept them out. And this was, or you know, ran around burning watchtowers to upset a military force, and got into the chase of a rat while we infiltrated from the way in. The Chaos Engine is very powerful. Yeah, I, I, as I always like to point out to Mr. Kentucky, I killed a bunch of people, yet he gets on to me for being an assassin. I go, at least I didn't kill a whole fucking military base. Yeah, just just remind him like it could be worse. At least we didn't. At least also, at least you didn't poison the war hole with two different plagues. <laughs> thank you, thank you, a suspicious druid of questionable morality. Me sitting, like he's like, I didn't kill a bunch of. I don't just randomly kill people. We find out later that he did randomly kill people, aka he really made basically the D and D equivalent of mustard gas. Hmm. And you know, a cloud. You know, a gust of wind happened while he was using it. How bad did they feel? Did they feel bad about it, or did they uh, just say, "Oh, that's not my problem"? He did feel bad about it, but I still was just like, you know, glance yeah. at him. Just give him the sideways glance of, well, and you judge I hope you're me. happy. Well, this was in his uh, this was ba it, pre the session. This is his character's backstory, which. Apparently, and I asked the D because when I was working on my character's backstory for my character arc, I, I, I said as a casual because we nearly just finished the arc. Going curious, how far in the backstory did the people before me have? Because I know that the one before us, Frederick, basically who basically left the group. Period. Long story. Yeah. Basically had a thirty-page backstory. Hmm. I was one of those players. Luckily, this was during when the DM didn't have a lot of ideas, and then uh. Colonel comes in, and Colonel Sanders has a uh, backstory that basically dates all the way back to the beginning of the founding of the country that we're in. I go, he did what? Yeah, you know that country run? Yeah, Kentucky and everything. Yeah, apparently one of his ancestors were the people who helped discover the continent. Were you okay with this? He messaged me this idea while I was still working on the history of the world, so I was fine with it. Yeah. I, I mean... I once pestered my poor best friend with uh, questions because I was trying to figure out what, who to play as, and I eventually hit on a dampier in a place where, ne where the original idea was necromancy didn't exist. Uh oh. So, uh, 
like he was a little myth because of all the questions having because I was trying to figure out what kind of character to play and that's the only one I had pre someone fleshed out to that would work without driving me crazy. But uh I did apologize and said I didn't mean to pest you with questions, I just but here's the thing. We also had another buddy of ours who decided to just drop it at Asmar when he hadn't worked out how if Asmar even existed in his world. He had a pamphlet and everything written out. So you know, the way he so the way we decided it's like, look, you at least asked me before doing this and I said yes. So I had I had to deal with that and rewrite a few things, but it still worked out. You asked. My our other friend did not. They just showed up and did a thing. And didn't okay. read the pamphlet. Yeah. It's, it's like, like that just... one story that one horror story I heard about where um it's basically this guy is running his campaign and his part his girlfriend or wife, very toxic clown bitch, all I'm saying. Um, basically, the guy was like, okay, everyone, you can pick any country, you can be from any part of these regions except for this region, because that's the big place that everyone's having a war with, right? And they all went, okay, we understand. Wifey, on the other hand, was like, oh, I'm from that land. Mm. Is your husband aware of this? Yeah. Well, see, they took me, see, the royal nobles took me in and except treated me and raised me as one of their daughters. That's why I'm part of this high-ranking noble family. And they're all like, you allowed this? She wouldn't give me any budging room. <laughs> one of those scenarios where it's clear she just wants to play the princess. Yeah. Yeah, there's this one TikToker who does, uh, reads, talks about horror stories that she's been told about sessions that she's experienced herself, as well as sessions that other people have and all that jazz. A lot of them are horrible. Like, one person basically was yelling at another person saying they were playing their character wrong. Oh god, not that. Not, because not the character is established as a pacifist and doesn't fight less self-defense. And she's like, you're playing your character wrong. You're a barbarian. Hold that thought for a second. My dog wants to go out. Okay. I, I must be. I'm being summoned. One moment. <sighs> okay. To work this thing, I need. I I'm busy trying to figure out how to work this potion device. So I need something that causes stone skin, growth, and sleeping in this one. Mage and hallucination in this one. This one's just triple healing. That one I can do pretty easily. Uh... Triple healing goes in the weird out goes in the elbow. Okay. Now I need... I need... that and hallucination. How am I gonna do that? I'm thinking. I hate thinking. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it just depends on how hard you have to think on it, and I'm whether not, or not, and I'm not how good the grasp it. Oh, upgrade machines. That's great. Mmm, that's expensive. That's great. Have you used the alchemy machine already? We're using it. Oh, okay, we are using it. Okay, so it is making its money back, so not yet. Well, basically what we're doing is right now we have to add the potions that are needed to make these things a thing. And to do that, I need a triple healing potion, which I've already made. I also need a potion of basically double poison and du and triple acid. That one's going to be the hard one. Just like, ah, uh, my brain hurts. Yes, uh, we, get, we go from simple potion made to advanced. You want something that makes the chickens slow down. I know exactly what you need to slow down the chickens. You're gonna love me for this, madam. Sleep potion. Go the fuck to sleep. Greatest potion ever. Here you go. What do you mean you don't want a sleepy potion? 
Sleepy potions make chickens go slow. Don't tell me there's a slope. I can't believe I'm looking this up. There's a potion of necromancy. Because who doesn't want a potion of necromancy? Uh, there's a potion of slowdown. Why would you need that? When are you going to need to slow people down? And I don't have half these ingredients. Yes, I do. One goblin shroom. Four smashed terrier. There we go. <sighs> Time to haggle. Gotta get that money. Gotta make that money. So I can buy more potion ingredients. Thank you. You want potion of stupidity. Excuse me. Wah, wah. What? I'm sorry. It's um, it, it's. I think it, I think it's French or something for what the fuck, or uh, or something similar. I I got it from him. I was saying bridge. Uh, it's basically yes. The fuck. The what? If you want what? I want to. He's like, I want a potion that makes them st makes them stupid, or makes them be easy to control. I'm like, okay, that doesn't seem hinky at all. I'm gonna just pretend I didn't hear that ha second half. What, and second of all, the fuck. I think that's the line. Yeah. I, I want to say that was that's more, um... DBZ approach. Hey, it's Who mostly what uh, the point stands. Hey. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. That's bad. That's bad. Don't do that, cat. No, 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 no. Looking at nothing. Everything's fine. Nothing is on fire. There is no war in Bossing Say. There is no war in Bossing Say. Yeah, just keep saying that. You might actually believe it at some point. Yeah, in theory, yes. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, let's try this again. There is no war in Bossing Sake. 
There is no war in Ba Sing Se. Why do I keep saying that? Everything's fine. It's absolutely fine. Is there a war in Ba Sing Se right now, Cat? No. Not yet. I like talking. I need to have. I realize I need to have some background noise. That's, I know. Uh, I know. Music, basically, some nice chill music because I can't listen to music on stream. The music on stream is so soothing; it's making me half asleep. I'm like, I'm about to fall asleep. Where's my death metal? Which is great when you're doing a nice, chill, relaxed stream like we're doing right now. But the problem is, I'm getting sleepy. Hey. My mom's like, how are you not asleep yet? I don't know, mother. Spite mostly. How do I live the way I live, mother? What is life, mother? Mother, mother, I crave violence. You want, you wish to awaken and choose violence. Uh, good news. Good morning, everyone. Guy decided to let me live another day, and I've decided to make it everyone's problem. <laughs> Songs. I must say, if you do do the one shot of the battle dance, what would I play? I keep coming back to. Can I play? A, can I do? A, can I do power ballads with like a Bard of Valor? Yes. Yes, like specific alternative metal where it's just, it's just not glam rock, but uh, just like. I think I mentioned you like Sonic Artica, right? Yeah. Yeah, like that. <laughs> very uh, very much more upbeat, but much more uh, it, it's. Like fanciest sounding metal, as opposed to like hard death metal. You want a floating potion, a floatiness. Shh. Hi. Why? Why do these people want these stupid dumbass potions? Learn a fucking spell. Get that... a thing of spider climb. It just you know get a scroll of flying. Or... Much cheaper than my shit. Well, they want to spend their money. It's their money. It's but it's mostly the, the matter of getting ingredients. That is my problem. I'm at that roadblock again. Oh boy. Okay. This, okay. I got some background music that's not appropriate, but at least it's more. Uh, it will keep me awake. Is it the Doom soundtrack? No, that's that's for different things. No, it's uh, Ver it's uh, Metal Solid soundtrack, one three. Okay. It's putting it's putting a very epic edge that doesn't quite match. I love it. Na 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 Okay. Yes, potion seller, I sell your finest of potions. None of you deserve the good shit, though. I'm gonna piss in this potion, and you'll never know. Me? Uh, Cat Luna's I mean, here, but potion potionry does not actually piss in their potions. This is purely for comedy's sake. Daddy Bezos, don't go after us. To be fair, there's a reason why. Uh. It came about when selling miracle, miracle cures that you had to list ingredients. Yep, because it's nothing but piss and ink, piss and ink. Okay, can't you catch a normal fish? Yeah, you better give me that much money. Thank you. Madam, I love you. Give me all your ingredients. I need more of these. Just give me these. Do I need more fires? Yes, I do. Need more winds, too. Uh, would you like this potion of sleeping? It's called Go the Fuck to Sleep. It helps you sleep.
Thank you, madam. Hey, look, it's the witcher friend. Toss a coin to your witcher. <gasps> oh! Okay, so apparently this guy's gonna be in a sooner or later update where he'll sell monster parts that will help you with potion making. Nice! I think it's nice. Do you think it's nice, Survivor? Yes, I do. Okay. Um... <sighs> You want a magical point potion and you'll toss me a coin? Buddy, I love you. Oh, toss a coin to your witcher. Oh, valley of plenty. Oh, valley of plenty. Oh. Toss a coin to your witcher. Continue brewing from here. And just finish the potion. Does an explosion count? Okay, explosion doesn't count. Pardon. I return. I didn't start a fire. Are you sure? Mm -mm. I almost gave a guy a potion of explosions when I meant potion of electricity. I see. Also, we've discovered the Witcher guy will basically be coming with monster parts sooner or later. You know, in a future update, and he'll be giving us, you know, those. My husband is cheating on me. I know everything, but I'm playing very dumb. Soon I will take my revenge. Our wedding anniversary is coming up. We are having a romantic dinner for two, as always. I have brought good wine. I just need a good poison. Moral compass? <laughs> it's, that's, it's illegal. You're, you're helping commit murder. <laughs> I love how you keep using your com about to commit murder as a reason why I shouldn't. Okay, so you know everything, right? Yes. This feels like this. Look, I have a very, I have a very, very particular rule about. I, I get you're jilted. I get it. They, 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 the other partner has done things. I, I don't condone your other partner. However, I also don't condone own poisoning them to death. Once if I'm just giving him a poison that gives him the runs. I mean, I'd be fine with that. I'd be fine okay. with a little... This is a poison that will give you the shit. If only you were allowed to lie to them and say, well, it, well, this will be a little bit more tasteful and less criminal, less criminality involved, but, uh... She just wants a poison. She did not say she wanted a deadly poison. She just said a poison to make him learn his lesson. And you can't learn your lesson if you're dead. Yeah. See? 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 That, See? that See? I can... That I'm fine with. There we go. See? He's gonna learn his lesson. Or it's a potion of impotence. That'll also do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will be leaning on that side. Thank you for enjoying my chaotic good nature. Here, this is the potion of he can't pick, he can't lift it up. I don't... <laughs> what? It's a perfect poison. A nasty witch had gotten into the habit of flying over the wheat fields and scaring the peasants. That's fine. She can fly, but she casts her spells and ruins the crops. I need a potion that can catch her in the air and scold her. You want a potion of levitation. That's basically what you want. You want to fly up into the air and scold a woman for basically flying in the thing. I feel yeah, like she's, she's, he's she's, like, I'm cool with that flying around. Just don't attack my crops. It's like just... Top crop dusting my crops of spells. I need to live. Sir, to live, damn it. Sir, madam, madam, please, madam, madam, madam. Madam, please stop buzzing the tower that are my crops and <laughs> ruining them with your spells. Go someplace else. I need to. I have children to feed. Please, madam. Please, I'm at, I'm being polite about this. <laughs> I read the witch might also cast a spell of uh. Oh, well, you get to be a frog now. A flying frog, but a frog and less. But hey, at least he's trying to be not murdery. I'll say that's an improvement. <laughs> See? I told you I get good customers sometimes. Yeah. Just, you know, sometimes I get some crazy shits. Yeah, it's like, I would honestly, this person is like, here's two spells. One for the counter, counter the witch's spells. And two, there's one for levitation. Be responsible. Drink responsibly. And here's a potion of sexy face- uh, of doing the sexy face. What's that potion supposed to help me for? I don't know. Make your oh wife God. laugh. 
Okay, now I'm just reminded of the Okay, so I'll do this for you, but you'll have to give me your first board. Alright, alright. Alright, I agree to it. Ha ha, I'll get you. I, you you made a terrible choice. They just start dressing. Wait, what are you doing? You said you, said you want my first board. Yeah, well, how do you do this or not? Oh. <laughs> And then I'm just reminded of magical tax evasion, like, okay, so I, so, uh, here's how you promise your, this to one person, this is how you promise your soul to another, to another de another entity, and let them fight over, <laughs> over ownership. Okay, and get so, away with, with ta get away from it, it's almost scot free. So here's what is a fun thing in my D&D, &D, the D&D &D group I'm in. If you're ever wanting to do lawyer stuff, contact a demon, they're the best when it comes to lawyers. Yeah. Because my DM has made this joke going, so you're wanting, because I'm, for those who need context, I am making an Assassin's Guild so I can fight the very corrupt Assassin's Guild. Long story. My character's more old school traditional. We're Assassin's Creed Assassins, the Assassin- Fuck! I'm fine. Yeah. I didn't mess up on my uh, potion at all. So you're more Assassin's Creed and they're more Dark Brotherhood, just- Kill for killers. Worst. Yeah, yeah, they kill children. Marshmallow ain't for that. Mm. And Marshmallow wants to take down the corruptness. And so basically Marshmallow has made deals with demons who help, you know. Not like yeah. soul shit. It's just like, listen, I just need your help with some legality shit. It's like, what makes you think I'll help you? Because da 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 da. And if you do this, I will promise you the souls of those who I kill who are already going to be bad people anyway. They're just coming down there anyway, but I'm just getting you there, getting them down to you quicker. The DM goes, wait, goes, hold on. You're doing what exactly? I go, well, the people who I'm going to kill are already bad people and are already most likely inevitably going to go down to hell, correct? Yeah. And demons use the souls of bad people as a form of currency and whatnot, correct? Yeah. I'm basically, and that all has to get through a process of being sorted of who goes to where, right? Yeah. I'm just cutting the middleman and giving him the souls directly. I mean, they're absolutely, they, if this is a devil, yes, they're absolutely down for that. Oh yeah, it was the devil who was like, go on. <laughs> it's like, continue. <laughs> Proceed. So I'm just saying, I'm not promising my people, I'm just simply promising people you're taking anyway, you just, you know, yeah, get direct you... access. And, <laughs> oh man, that's... That's good. I like that. Yeah, it's just like I'm not. Pro yeah, and it's basically like, okay, here's the thing. I uh, my my assassin's guild needs weapons now, and he ha and this de devil happens to be very specializes in weapons that are specializes in weaponry to collect souls. So I go. So if you provide, and again, my soul is not on the line on this, by the way, because <laughs> I keep offering better options. <laughs> I go. So basically, you want souls, right? And you make weapons that collect souls. I have a demon that collects the weapon, collects the souls of things that, that he kills, correct? Yeah. Same concept, but basic weapons. Uh-huh. Well, what if I give some of the members of the Assassin's Guild weapons that are your, that you build yourself that will collect the souls, which lead directly to you? <laughs> My DM's going, I can't believe you have figured out ways to talk to the devil. I'm like, it's almost like I listen to those fairy tales about how, fairy tales about how to work with, work with demons or something. You want a potion that makes you the god of love. Alright, they're asking they want they want some they want an aphrodisiac. They want something to so they don't get laughed at when they go to the Well, I don't know how to tell you this. I can't make a libido potion. I'm sorry, sir, I do not have the ingredients for the libido potion. I know, I know. Helping a guy find love is very important and all that, but I just can't make a libido potion. I have no ingredients. To help me get to libido potion. <sighs> oh, I just popped my back. That hurt. That hurt. Do you uh, stretch then? Did not. We need to stretch earlier. <sighs> Your shit is fucking expensive. But has anyone ever told you that Mr. Guy found things that are made out of rocks? Oh, don't be able to hydrate. Why are you telling me to hydrate? Because there isn't there isn't a button to press to remind you. Have you been going for four hours? I've been hydrating throughout this. Okay. So you Obviously. want a ha you want a well lit house. See, there's this lovely little spell called Lumos, bitch. I can't even make Lumos. Oh shit! I am that I am out of basic ingredients. 
Oh, that, that, that's a problem. That, that's a problem, sir. That's not good. That's not good. Here. Oh, your firewood. You need a fire potion. Oh, why didn't you just say that? I don't have the ingredients for a fire potion. No, oh, wait, maybe I do. I'm gonna have to get creative. Mush the bananas. This man tried drying his uh, wood. Yep. He's not trying it. He's like, I can't light it. Dry your wood then. Wait five minutes. These stupid entitled men. And in the case of me saying man, I mean man, like, you know. Not gender, yeah. uh, species. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Here you go. I love these bottles. Woo! Look how durable these fuckers are. Woo! <laughs> oh man, that's a, dur that's a durable pot. Uh, See, that's bottle. why they're so expensive, the bottles. <laughs> Uh, our gang is going raiding soon. You want to go raiding? You're a bad man. Go away. Uh, do you have a potion for that? Oh, you want to go into a cave unnoticed. Uh, you want invisibility. I do not have invisibility. I think that's invisibility right up there. Wow, I really suck at this. How? Wait. What do you mean, uh, not burning potions? Yeah, no, yeah, it's just like, I can't go up into the right, I can't go up, I can't go to the upper right hand because I don't have up and rights, or ups. Mm. Oh look, it's the nice lady. Hi lady, I'm just going to take all of these. Thank you very much. And all these. And all these. And this thing. And this thing. I don't have enough. Have a potion of explosion. Have a potion of kaboom. Have one of these. But I will have to drop off in about like 20 minutes or so. I'm thinking of dropping off, period. Be it... As well, because I'm just like, I am doing that thing that I don't like. If you're guessing was zoning out like crazy, yes. Oh, yeah. That and I'm stuck in a spot. Bye, lady. Uh, where you need? We've been nearly eaten our entire harvest. What? How did you eat your entire? Don't answer that question. Don't just look. I'm making you a potion. It's called the potion of stop fucking eating the entire harvest. Was like, yeah. We can't do the thing. Our harvest has been destroyed. Well, whose fault is that? You're the idiots who decided to eat the weird food. I need yeah, a yep. I need a vial of acid. Why? Why do you need acid? Do you have a reason? Uh, no, I just want to throw a vial of acid. <laughs> I, it sounds like a bunch of people I know. <laughs> Oh my god, that that reminds me of uh, one, of my, one of my college friends decided, oh, I'm gonna play Dragon Age. They get to a part where it's like, okay, we're gonna do an honorable duel. Honorable duel, you say, just you and me, one on one, okay. They were a rogue, uh, they, they were, the, they were the, sub, the subclass that you can summon creatures. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, I, I know a, of the subclass, I, I am of yeah. that subclass. His immediate answer was, okay, vial of poison in his face. <laughs> <laughs> and then I summon bear, and then I have my bear, my bear companion. 
<laughs> it's like, don't worry, totally audible duel. You said one on one. This isn't one on one. Well, I summon them there using my own skills. Therefore, it's honorable. Have another flask of another flask of acid. This is not <laughs> honorable, you idiots. I have. It's okay. I. But how do you send so many vials of acid? I work at the acid factory. Have some more. <laughs> These are free samples. <laughs> oh my god, it was so stupid. It's also from him I learned that if uh, if you have a uh, Templar character, you can go to the uh, if you go to the forest general. What was it? Uh, what was the forest called? I forget. Uh, you go to the forest. You get to the final part where all the werewolves are frozen, uh -huh. and the other druid like elf is trying to attack you. You can just run up to the werewolves. Cast cleanse, which is a lower level uh, ability for Templars, and release them. From? <laughs> From them, um, they're all they're all held in stasis, so they can't move. Oh. You have to, such the fight at your tradition is just to fight him off and all his uh tr the trees he summoned to attack you. It'd be a real shame if I just released these twelve werewolves that are stuck. Mmm. <laughs> I did it once, it was incredible. It just turned a very hard end of this section uh, boss fight into a, a cakewalk. Okay, you promised me not to throw a vial of acid into the face of a guy in an honorable duel. Well, it's not something I would do, however. You know, I, I'm an adventurer. I... Sometimes you need to throw acid in people's or things' faces. Or unlocks, or, you know, a lot of reasons. Don't worry about it. You wanna put- wait. You want to fly over him? Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the stuff to do that. Sorry, my dude. Anyway, it is the end. We end the stream. I am tired. I am sleepy. I need a cookie. Don't ask why the cookie is made out of human flesh. Uh, I will send you all to Johnny Jellyjaw, for he is streaming. Yay. Mm.